Welcome everyone to the green screen not being ready just quite yet. How are you lovely people doing? We are starting things off with Survivor Day. I mean, I say Survivor Day. Don't know if we're going to be doing Survivor the entire day, but hey, it is Survivor Day as of uh, this very moment. And you will notice we're going uh, against Freddy. The lad has got corrupt intervention. He has gotten a down very early, which is not good for us. And we are playing with the newest... Most exclusive skin as uh, your boy James from Silent Hill 2. Which, uh, Silent Hill 2 is a, a really, a game that I'm a pretty big fan of. And I really dig. And I meant to, I've always wanted to buy him, but at the same time I'm a massive cheapskate. So I felt like, eh, should I really spend the money? I think at that point I, I, I had just gotten uh, finished buying like some type of skin or other for a different character that I can't quite remember just yet what it was. But I, uh, due to that, I was too cheap to buy James, but hey, I finally pulled the trigger. And, uh, now here we are. Yet another character. On top of all the ones that I already have that I need, I'm gonna be needing to, uh, level up and all. Although, I guess for some reason I had already- ooh, tunnel gaming, let's go. I had already spent the points on Cheryl, so I actually have a very well. It's, it's the build that I like to run. Only issue is you will see the lack of uh, tier three perks that we have going on. Uh, that's a very rough situation for us, though. Let's go ahead and get this fellow off the hook. Hopefully, the girl comes. We can heal him. Super quick. Ooh, this is terrible. I'm sorry, my friend. I think I just killed you. Mm, should we try giving him an easy down? Entice him? No, he's just gonna tunnel. Yep. That is a very unfortunate star, man. He's like right off the bed, just instantly like, yes, tunnel at five gens. I'm gonna get hit here because it's ready. Ooh, never mind. That's a miracle. Maybe we should like... I don't know, like teabag him or something. <gasps> there is nothing in this whole side of the map. Yo, take a hit for me. Oh, it's fine. Oh, thank you, dude. <gasps> no! <laughs> I do not know why I did not expect that move, even though it was really obvious on hindsight. Okay, uh, Corbin Intervention and Thrilling Tremors. Yeah, so this Freddy is showing absolutely no mercy. It's tunneling F5 gems, which, hey, I guess fair enough, but holy shit. <laughs> And props to the knee, I should have tried to help me out. But I should have seen that move coming, honestly. And we can just uh, heal up with a medkit. I think I forgot to equip any sort of tome challenge, by the way, which is a little bit silly on my part. And I think we're doing pretty awful. Okay. <laughs> you can replace that thing for I am certain. I am certain that we're doing very awful. Okay, I guess this is a throwaway game now. Like, what to do, huh? Uh, the killer's aware of the amount of progress in this gen, which to say it's not, it's not even that much is the sad thing. We are, are not doing good on any front imaginable. As a matter of fact, we're doing pretty <laughs> freaking poorly. Well, you never know, maybe this guy will juice the Freddy massively and it'll take uh, 27 minutes for him to go down and then this Nia and I can just, you know, prove thyself the piss out of these generators. It's like hop from one to another, we'll prove thyself. Oh, never mind. That does throw a wrench in the plans. But fuck it, let's just keep going. I guess we just hold in one of these generators and, you know, see where the evening takes us. So far, not so good. I wonder why the build is connected. Maybe he was like trying to get healed and then he ran into the Freddy. And he knew he wasn't gonna last super long and then he's like, you know what, fuck this. Because he had got, you know, he got tunneled so aggressively. Which I suppose I understand, but hey, you might as well stick things through and try to, uh... I can heal you up. Oh, nope, never mind. I suspect this guy's gonna tunnel again, right? Curious. There he goes. Oh, okay, cool. 
I don't mind like taking a hit for free here as long as he's not tunneling. I guess we're doing okay. Oh shit! Did he, did he see that guy? Does not seem like it. Uh, is he gonna commit? Yes, he is. Gonna break that door. We'll take this opportunity to go all the way to Shack. I think we can make it, no problem, right? Does have like some teleport, so he could potentially teleport ahead of me and cut me off. But is he gonna have the the foresight to see that? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, he's already pre. Ooh, this is a bit rough. I think this is just a pre-drop Shack Palace. Sorry, fellas, but. Trying my absolute hardest here to just <laughs> survive. Uh, these snares can be quite nasty too in Freddy, huh? Hey, Giovanna. How's it going, my friend? Long time no see. How have you been? Oh boy. My day's been good, thank you very much. Day's been solid. Had a uh, had some nice coffee, but now I'm I'm feeling uh, like jittery because of it though. Should I have done that? I think so, right? <laughs> this fucking tile is pretty nasty. Oh, I fucked up though. But I think uh, he's over. Oh, <laughs> where's the gens, man? I've been freaking looping this man for twenty-seven thousand years, and now I fucked up. I came to somewhere where there's no. Uh, I'm fucking dead now. There's, yeah, there's no nothing here. I did not make it to the pallet, so I'm just gonna go to the corner of the map. Hey, there you go. Thank you. Alright. <laughs> Seriously not breaking the pallet? There we go. Right, Giovanna? I think he should have broken that, like, way earlier, but I guess he was, uh... Hope there we go. Dude, they have been doing gens. Good job. I guess they, uh... Or he was hoping that his snares were gonna do most of the work for him. But this is a bit of a rough match for us, Giovanna. We started, and this uh, dude just, like, tunneled a, a bill off the game, like, instantly at 5 gens, which was very sad, but since then he he had a bit of a rough time like chasing us and anybody else, so we were able to get 4 gens done at the end of the day, which is honestly a lot better than I expected, because when that bill was out of the game, we were at 4 gens, so... Mm. I break that instantly? I would too, yeah, that's a really powerful tile, that palette, it's like, it's really rough. I think that if you have like a killer like, you know... Huntress or, or Nurse or freaking Blight or I don't know, Pyramid Head or something. I think you can try to uh, play around it without breaking the pallet. But... I don't know, Freddy? That That's tough. Alright friend, you and I are gonna get together and we're gonna prove thyself the ever-living fuck out of that chin in the corner over there. So you come with me this instant, friend. And if we do, we might have a chance at this. Freddy though, so he is, he's able of like teleporting. Well, he's capable of teleporting. Oh crap, man. And I was gonna hope that that Nia would last a really long time. But that is very much wishful thinking, particularly when I did drop like some really good pallets. I dropped Shack Pallet. And I dropped, uh... Rough. Oh hi, I did not realize you are coming this way. Oh, you hooked it right there. Shit. Yeah, I dropped some really good pallets, so I don't really blame the Nia for going down so quick. But at the same time, I kind of had to, huh? And it did buy them enough time to uh, get two gens done. So I don't know that I necessarily like regret what I did too much. It's just one of those where it's like, well, and somebody's already dead. And with four gens left to go. Like, what the fuck are you going to do, right? Uh. But yeah, Giovanna, day's been good. Like I said, I had some nice coffee. But now I I, I don't know if you, if you know like the, the crash that you get sometimes. Maybe because I, I didn't like eat basically any food <laughs> the entire day you're just like some freaking bagel I like some the uh, the coffee they were like do you want to make it extra strong and i was like hell yeah dude that sounds that sounds nice right extra coffee extra caramel like hit me up and they did and now i'm like uh, if that makes any sense <laughs> i tell you what though he he has thrilling tremor so he's gonna be aware i think that's actually a really got a uh, really good combo in freddy he may teleport. Okay, this is actually really good for us. The fact that he is... I have to rescue this girl and hopefully she comes with me. And that's our only chance. But I would have to... Rescue and then she comes with me. Hey, you come with me. Follow me. Hopefully she's clever enough. 
But it's a good thing that we are on two separate generators, because otherwise he would have just like teleported over here and we would have absolutely no chance whatsoever. Thrilling Tremors is what's uh, allowing him to to figure out which gens we're on. So I think he's going to be perfectly aware of the fact that we're over here. Played earlier today, and God won't match me and Zarina did a god looping, or good looping, and when she was looping at the gens, when I looped she did gens, problem was our other two mates were doing nothing. It is a crouching around, or, or even though we did good, it didn't matter at all. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? If you can have like two god teammates, but the game's supposed to be 1v4, right? And if you have like two absolute like god tier people doing amazing, that would be what the equivalent as. Man, this sucks. This really sucks. Oh, was that a fake out? It was. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. There is hope after all. Let's go, guys. Yeah, two really good people and two useless people is it ends up like not being that good, right? So you really need no, no. I mean, at least I'm I'm awake now. <laughs> it really does end up being uh, like not so good at all. You you would need the if you have like two god people and if the other two are at least not being like too useless, you know, just holding down M1 on gens and stuff. Yo, open that shit up, bro. Then it ends up being like not not so terrible, right? And then you can carry just the, just two people. But if the other two are like absolutely completely properly useless, and I know exactly the kind of people we were talking about who just like don't get anything accomplished and just like crouch on the map and hide in lockers and shit, which I guess is you know for the most part just like really new players, huh? Then it is like very 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 sad indeed. And it, like you said, like it, it didn't matter at all, right? Because it, does, it doesn't really matter, like how good you do or another person does, making up for two, like you know, fifty percent of your team being totally useless, is really, really, really hard. Dude, if we manage to get a single escape here, I will be amazed. I feel like we did really good. Honestly, man. Like this guy tunneled somebody out of the game. Four gens left. I'll just try to buy as much time as I can. Hopefully the other guy will get like two escapes here and I'm, I'm happy. Hopefully the other dude is uh, on his way out, man, but I am not gonna risk this shit. Not a chance. Guess I'll just stay here and see how this goes. Maybe she crawls over here and maybe he loses track of her, who knows. But just the fact that we got this far is I already, I feel like it's a miracle. <laughs> So props to these guys that remained. They they did really good. I love coffee, but I did the crash. Oof, yeah. <laughs> I'm not honestly like I'm kind of weird with coffee. Where I've started, I didn't mean that. I did not mean that. Whoops. I've started. Okay, yes, he's out, dude. Two escapes is we actually are gods. We are absolute fucking gods managing to get two escapes out of this. That is insane. Good freaking work, man. Good stuff. Yeah, I mean, shame for the Nia, but that's still really, really good. Like, come on. Three people left at four gens. Hell yeah. But, uh, sorry, as I was saying, uh, I really like... I've started liking coffee, but I don't really like coffee coffee. I like lattes and stuff, you know, like a lot of, of milk and just like a little bit of coffee. But I had one that was like extra strong today. And I think it's more so the fact that I had basically no food <laughs> since, you know, because it's 20. I had like a the world's smallest bagel and that was about it which uh is probably a decision that is coming back to to haunt me mm. but yeah because of that oh he had the scordons damn dude good job but fuck all palette scrubins i'm confused by what they mean That is hilarious. I did use really good pallets, don't get me wrong, I did drop those. But like, it was three people alive, four gens left. I looped them while my teammates did zero to a hundred, two different gens, dude. And they're still they're still fucking upset at me. Like how out like how out of touch do you have to be? All pallets, by the way. <laughs> How?
how out of touch do you have to be to not be happy about the fact that we had three people alive? I think like one, somebody already had a hook on them. Four gens left to go, and we still managed to get two escapes out of that. And they're still salty about the, me using every pal on the map. Even though I dropped like, during that one chase, I dropped like two. And granted, yeah, they were really good pallets, but it was a really fucking long chase. And I think that Nia should be fucking happy with what we were able to accomplish, but, you know, angry players are going to stay angry. <laughs> but yeah, I like pussy coffee, basically. <laughs> not, not like, you know, hard black coffee with tons of caffeine. Nah, dude, I like it. Fucking give me like 90% milk and 10% coffee. Add a little bit of fucking caramel in there. That's that's the shit I fuck with. So uh, I'm a bitch is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> Fighter iced coffee or like four shots of espresso. I like it bitter. Oh, I got you, Giovanna. So you're you're a proper hardcore coffee drinker. I that is not that is not like me in the slightest. I cannot say. Hey, Gucci, welcome on in. How you doing, my friend? There was a moment where I had like a Jenna 90. Call that came to help, but when the call that came, the killer also came and he kicked the gen and went on me. Took him far away, and when I eventually went down, she had not got back in the gen, finished it. It was like a 20%. That does, yeah, that's insane to me. Like, I am what I would personally consider a gen goblin, you know? Like, I really, really, really take some sort of, like, sick... Hang on, I think I forgot about this. Yes, I did. <laughs> I take some sort of, like, sick, twisted pleasure in watching that bar go up. So, to me, like, you know, a situation like that where you have a gen at 90% and then the killer pushes people off and there's two people and the killer doesn't come back to the generator and the other person doesn't like immediately come back and, and get those uh, that 10% finished. That shit is just like insane to me. But I do see it happening a lot so I know exactly what you're talking about and it's always like so infuriating. Particularly when you go back and it's like 70% of the progress that we did is now gone because this one person couldn't go back and just fucking hold them one for like 9 seconds. That is absolutely insane to me. Three at four gems to escapes is awesome. Right. That is so good, man. That is insane. Like, honestly. And that Freddy had, like, a, a pretty good build, too, man. He had, like, thrilling, so he could, like, teleport back to the generators. He had Pop Goes a Weasel. He had the Scordons to counter the, the Prove Thyself. Like, we did really fucking good, honestly. That is, you know, more, like, if, if we had gotten a single escape there, I would have already been happy. The fact that we got two and, and, and Nia died on Endgame, I think we did freaking phenomenal. But, you know. But Nia didn't escape, right? And that's what matters. It's not about like, oh, how good the team did. It's like, did I escape? Did I manage to get away? And if the answer is no, then I'm going to be angry and salty and, and fuck this guy that dropped two really good pallets, but also kept the killer busy for like freaking two minutes or whatever the fuck, it, however long it was. <laughs> oh, bird. Coming presumably. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Oh, oh time to go. See you later. I was curious and a weird kid, so when I was small, like 7 and up, I would sip coffee because all the adults did it. And I hated it back then, but grew up to love it. Yeah. That is a... It feels like a very... Oh. I wonder if, like, children just have, like, different palettes or something. But it does feel like the kind of thing that, you know, you, you would never, ever like as a child. And yet, somehow, when you grow up, like, something changes and it's like, oh, dude, fuck yeah. I feel like, uh... Well, I think I tried... I, I, I don't know that I... Anything... There was anything that like I hated as a child and love as an adult. I feel like there's a lot of like vegetable stuff that I have come to like a lot more. But when it comes to like drinks and stuff, like I didn't like coffee back then. I still don't. Never was, uh, you know, I remember like sipping on my dad's like alcohol out of curiosity. When I was, uh, oh, you better leave, girl. Oh, uh, I like you. I like you, dude. You're a... <gasps> <laughs> okay, Ruben, that's good to know. Be like sipping on my dad's alcohol. Oh, dude, what a clutch shot their artist just pulled. I mean, like, this is fucking disgusting, and it still is, so that's pretty good. <laughs> Cringe comments for the NES, she's just protecting. I would say so, yeah. Like, I mean, like, like we've mentioned, right? It's just insane. Like, how are you not gonna be happy with a performance like that, honestly? Dude, we're getting annihilated. I need to wait for this girl to leave, otherwise the lady's probably just gonna her balls tunneled. Uh, uh, hey, Glummy Rod, welcome on in, Nia. How you doing, my friend? Staying salty, I, I imagine? Easy to open your big mouth when you're doing shit. There is no surprise to see the number of people who follow your show. You think it's bad? We're like 570 almost. I think that's pretty good. 
I'm pretty proud of that. But yeah, I mean, you know, I think I did pretty good. I, I like the, the team as a whole, I think did amazing. Should we just, nah, this girl's gonna get tunneled immediately if we rescue her. Or maybe I'm just thinking that this Aridus is gonna play like the Freddy, which may not be true. But like one, I'm, I'm pretty proud of uh, the amount of people who followed the show, first of all. Second of all, I, I think that, uh, you know, we did really fucking good. The fact that somebody got tunneled off the game so quickly, I'm fucking dead, by the way. <gasps> she put so much shit down. But yeah, we had, what, like, three people left, four gens left to go. I looped the Freddy for two minutes, you guys were able to get two gens done. At the end of the day, we still got two escapes, you know? I think uh, a normal person would just, like, be happy with that and just leave it as it is, right? But I'm sorry that you're so upset that you didn't escape over this game that you feel the need to, you know, to act like such a salty baby. <laughs> that being said, thank you for checking out the stream, though. I appreciate that. <laughs> Where were we at? Tomorrow's going to Comic-Con with some friends? That sounds nice, Gucci. Last time I was there was back in 2017. Comic-Con is a thing where uh, it, it takes place on a bunch of different uh, places around the world, right? Because I feel like it's a thing here in Sweden as well. And I feel like very recently we had a, a thing. Like very recently we were able to... Well, not able to. I guess we would have been able to if we wanted, but we didn't. Or we could have gone to it. But we ended up uh, deciding against it just because, you know... I guess we had just like bought a house and to, you know, spend the money <laughs> with like tickets and hotels and stuff would not mayhaps be the uh, greatest solution of all time ever. Oh, did I stop you by doing that? I meant to switch to the, the green screen overlay. I don't know if I uh, accidentally stopped, stopped her from healing. But if I did, that's a bit of a shame because uh, there goes that med kit. We're doing a bit, uh, a bit rough though. It's not doing so good. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it, Gucci. I've never been to any sort of uh, convention like that. It does uh, It does sound fun, though. Honestly, like, I, I have no idea what the experience is even like. I feel like the closest that I've been to, but it's at the same time not similar at all. It would be like, you know, rock concerts and shit. Which, once again, it's, it's not really, like, the same in the slightest. Uh, that girl has no hook, so I think the best thing we can do right now is just like fuck off and try to do a gen somewhere else. Which is easier said than done because this artist is pretty clever with the way she uses her birds. She's able to like put a lot of uh, pressure throughout the map. I'm always right back on a gen if there's another survivor takes a killer ray. Exactly, right? Because it's like, honestly, it's. If you... There's not a whole lot to do, is there? Like, you leave the generator. Huh? Uh huh? Like, you leave the generator, right? You're not getting chased. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, if you're not actively getting chased, I guess you can go, go rescue, right? But if you don't have to rescue, then why not be on the gen? Oh, shit. Deadlock. At least you know this is the one that... Has the most progress, and that girl did uh, last a pretty good time on chase. But yeah, like if you don't have to rescue, what are you gonna do? If you don't have like a, an important like totem to cleanse, like what are you gonna do? Like why not be on a generator, particularly one that's just like so close to being done? It just feels absolutely like bizarre to me. To not just take the the, the freaking first second that you have to. Don't you want to get healed? I like just immediately take the opportunity to go back and, and finish it. Okay, I guess she doesn't want to get healed. That's fair enough. She's a gen goblin. Girl after my heart. I was like five the first time I tasted wine. Next to my grandma went to the toilet and her glass of wine was on the counter. I thought it was Coca-Cola. But after that, I often get like one sip. And I've always loved red wine because of it. Because of it. Yeah, I mean, like, wine is one that I do think tastes pretty good in terms of alcohol, right? And it's, like, fairly tame, right? But, like... Oh, no, man. That artist is tough. Very well played. But... Other types of alcohol, like, the, the types that, like, my dad liked were more, like, you know, freaking spirits. And that kind of stuff. And it's just, like, yeah. Undrinkable. Undrinkable as a child, undrinkable as an adult, in my opinion, too. Yeah, this is this is not this is not gonna pin out too much, I don't think. But hey, there's people who dig it, and if you do, all the power to you. 
It's just very much not my thing. <laughs> not in the slightest. This is a bit tough. I know we, we pulled off a miracle last time. But this one I am not as confident about. That being said, I think the only thing we can realistically do here is like hold him one. Like whoever's not getting chased just, you know, hunkers down on generators. In hopes that the other person lasts as long as possible, right? But the artist has been like pretty efficient with the way she uses her birds. She's pretty good at, you know, like zoning people out and then putting us in a situation where, like, what do you do? You're the only one opening your big mouth for just being rude for literally no reason. I'm sorry, you're obviously having some personal interest and you just want to shit on other people so bad. I mean, yeah, right? Like, it's just a game, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like there's. You know, you can be like a bit of a dick under like specific situations. And I'm not gonna say like, oh, it's okay. But at the same time, it's like understandable, right? Like, I see why the situation upset you and I see why you're taking out on me, even if I don't agree with it. But it's like, it's, I don't know, reasonable or whatever you'd say it. But complaining about what happened there is just silly, in my opinion. I think anybody would should be happy about how uh, good we managed to do. I'm gonna fucking die, dude. Yeah, this was mm, the smartest thing I've ever done in my life. And I bet she's gonna pop Wizzle or something like that. Dude, I, Meg, I would love you so much if you were to just, like, perish and I found Hatch. But I think... Alright, guys, you ready for this? Check it out. <laughs> no way, dude. No way, dude. The way, dude. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll let the mag- Oh! I was gonna try to die for the mag and hopefully she would leave, but now I've made friends with the artist. Dude, it's like a thousand IQ works every time, bro. That That's how you turn a, a, an L into a W. Thank you so much, artist. Alright, let's go find the hatch together. She's my best friend now. <laughs> oh, I just love my, my confidence. I'm like, guys, check it out, it's gonna work. I really shouldn't say anything before I actually, you know, am escaped and out of the game. Because otherwise I will eat shit. Once she, like, closes it into my face and then puts me on a hook. And then, uh, you know, I'm not gonna be, like, bragging so much. Oh, thank you so much, artist. You're a, you're a saint. <laughs> That's how you do it, boys and girls! That's how you turn a guaranteed L into a certified W. Hell yeah, can we call that the, the Scrubin's Tech? <laughs> Scrubin's Tech Survivor Edition. Oh, what a cutie, man. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, that was a really good artist, though. She knew how to use her birds, like, very, very well. Both, like, in loops. In, like, a really oppressive way. As well as, like, to sped, sped? spread pressure throughout the map. So she was really, really good. I don't even feel like the, the team did, like, bad necessarily. It was just a, you know, tough killer. Who was like really good eat? at it. Would you like to eat? Yeah. What would you like to eat? What, do you want to narrow it down and then I can choose? Uh, the avocados are good. So pasta salad or quesadillas? Yeah. You know I'm a quesadilla monster, but... Yeah, but you know I'm a pasta monster. Yeah, so you, I'm, I'm cool with letting you decide if it comes down to it. But I'm going to pick quesadilla anytime on that fight, and it's just like, you know... I thought, I thought you were bribing me. I thought you were just putting, putting cash down. <laughs> uh, thought you were put, putting cash money dollar bills down, bro. Good good thing, too, is that like I can, uh, you know, I can look on the security camera and look at the mailbox and I can see if the, uh, if the post came. You know what I'm saying? Which I guess the answer to that question is no. Yeah, no post. Okay. Yeah, I'm just reading messages. My goodness. <laughs> can you can you take this away, please? So yeah, so you 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 know what I feel like you you surprise me, but know that I'm good either way. So if you feel like heavy pass salad, I'm cool with that. Oh god. Da. Ah. Da. Ah. Do you need cute hats? Do you wanna show Chai your your cute new haircut? Yeah. She got her haircut move today. Aside. Let me move aside. Just move fucking aside. get over here. Let me move it's, aside. It's not. It's not like. Okay. What about this? It's Got a short cute now. little haircut. Yeah. It's, it's very very shorter. It's like half the length that it used to be. Hmm? 
It's like half the length that it used to be. Look, it looks very nice. She looks very pretty. Hello, Luxor. Welcome on in. Hi, Luxor. How you doing, my friend? Some blue. Is it my shirt? Is it, uh... Oh, your eyes are in blue. Yeah, I feel like it's only... my The pants on my character? <sighs> Potentially. The Z's above the, the little wolf drawing on the emote that went away a second ago? So many things! What could it be? Thank you, Luxor. <laughs> Let me go ahead and... I need to catch up with chat, though. Just respect the title of this stream and your Gucci. Damn right, I gotta hold him on. Hell yeah. Hit most spirits like Sambuca, like the killer and a cantillary yogurt master. That's about it. Yeah, I'm not like... I don't know that I've ever... Uh, and when it comes to alcohol, I really like cider. Smirnoff ice, if that even can be considered alcohol, I really like. Uh, and wine. Not every wine, but some wine I enjoy. Don't really like drink any of it ever, but you know, if I have to, that stuff is pretty... Uh, pretty I either proper good when it comes to cider and Smirnoff ice. And I guess some wine. Okay, I don't know. I just repeated the exact same thing that I said for no reason. But yeah, it, it ranges from like being quite good to okay and tolerable for me. But when it comes to like beer, that shit will not. Dude, I have an impossible time drinking that. I'll try to swallow it and it just does not want to go down. It's so heinous to me. And like anything spirit really like Jack Daniels. I tried drinking like Jack Daniels once and it was like, I imagine that's what like gasoline would taste like you know what i'm saying if i wanted to like drink freaking gasoline in order to unalive myself or something like that i expect i would expect the experience to be like that so i cannot stand jack daniels and whiskey and all that kind of crap just not an alcohol guy just not an alcohol guy <laughs> you were literally doing good too what would just be that shit uh javana i think it really comes down to just like being salty that they didn't escape you know what i'm saying i think it's just like a very you know egotistical and selfish kind of like, you know, uh, mind state, as it were, or state of mind, I guess I should say, where instead of being happy that your team did really good and you managed to get as many escapes as you did, given the odds being, you know, massively stacked against you, I think that kind of person just, you know, they would rather everybody gets wiped out at four gens and then they get an, uh, a hatch escape and they get to say GG easy at the killer because all they care about is whether or not they escape, you know, and fuck everything else. They would rather that than what we did, which is managing to pull through and still getting two escapes. But one of the, but those two escapes weren't them, right? They died and that's all they care about. I suspect that's what it is. That's my best guess. Because like you said, we did really good. It made no fun. It, it, you know, it, it makes no sense to me why somebody would be upset given the uh, circumstances there. Unless... They're just like massively selfish and egotistical and only care about whether or not they escape. And, you know, and that's the only thing that's going to determine whether or not they're happy, right? That's the only uh, possible explanation of that. Send me a, uh, because I got hard tunnel out of the game, but I went back 10 minutes later and I apologize because to be fair, the teammates did farm me why I would take opportunity. I usually don't get too upset, but I was having a bad day. Yeah. I mean, yeah, for sure, right? Like I said, in certain, oh boy. I I think it's like understandable given certain circumstances, right? Like I I never think it's like okay, and I would like approve of it, and I'm like yeah, you should do it or anything like that. But in certain situations, I think it's like perfectly understandable, and I don't like hold it against people too much as long as you're not like particularly nasty, right? And I'm I'm sure I, I know you, so I know you you wouldn't do anything like that. But you know, assuming oh my god, that guy did he just like vault back? <laughs> That was not the smartest thing I've ever done in my life, or I've ever seen. But oh well, it happens. I guess maybe that trap kind of fucked him up a little bit. Which has the add-on that prevents her, or, you know, body blocked him or something, who knows. And he panicked because he thought she was going to teleport. Who knows, who knows, who knows. But yeah, like, I, I know you, so I know you wouldn't say anything, like, particularly nasty. But sometimes, like, it's not okay, right? But it's understandable. Like, I see why you would get angry and then, like, and say certain things, right? And, and complain and yada, yada, yada. But in that context, it's like, <laughs> I think you, you have to be, like, massively egotistical and selfish to be unhappy with the result. Because I, I was fucking super happy, dude. And I don't care, like I said, if, if we had gotten a single escape, I would have been, like, really glad. And I don't care if it's me or somebody else. It's the fact that, you know, we managed to complete all gens to begin with was amazing to me. Oh, nice. Teleport. Uh. Okay. I would really like to complete this generator, though. You're not really hungry? Sorry, baby. I can wait a bit more if you want. 
<laughs> Giovanna approves of your haircut, by the way. And so does Loxor. It was my shirt? Ah, nice. So I did guess right. I mean, I guess it's a pretty easy guess, right? It was the only blue thing anywhere, apart from the box of little dinosaurs on. It was the only realistically blue thing. So I guess it, it was pretty easy for me. <laughs> when a teammate? Yes, absolutely, Luxor. Feel free to join me on the next one. I'll be per I'll be very, very happy to have you. Uh, yeah, but what are, do you think the avocados would still be good tomorrow? Yeah, probably. Would. Probably? Yeah. I don't like that, probably. I want a definite answer. Why don't you tell me yes, absolutely, with a, a thousand percent certainty. Let me go squeeze though. <laughs> Let me go squeeze though. <laughs> uh, Chris doesn't want a teammate. I'm really sorry, Luxor. I, I, I missed... Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming you sent that when I was in the lobby last match, and I, I didn't... Oh, shit. Christ. Wow. Sprint burst saved my ass there. I do need to do a better job of catching up with chat, so that's my bad. But I would love it if you were to join me, my friend. This is gonna... We're gonna get hit here, so this is just a whole W operation. I'm afraid. Utilize the fact that she's 110 to our advantage. If she put a trap down, we're fucked. I guess we're fucked either way because I didn't... I did not run that as efficiently as I, I could have. Tough, 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 tough. I was just being a bit salty, definitely not extremely rude or offensive, but he was really wholesome when I apologized, so it turned out to be a nice moment, which ultimately made my day better, yeah. But yeah, yeah, Javon, that, that's what I mean, right? Like, I, I know you, so I know you wouldn't, like, say anything, because you can say some, like, gross, you know, like, stuff that, like, regardless of what happened, right? You can be, like, freaking hard tunnel and hit on hook repeatedly at, like, freaking five gens. And it still wouldn't make, like, some particularly gross stuff that people say okay. Like, not in the slightest. But, as long as you don't do that, right? And you're, like, fairly chill. And you just say stuff like, oh, wow, dude, what? That was crazy lunge, what the hell? I thought, I really thought that with Sprint Burst there, I would've been fine. But now nah, she got me, well done. Well, rip. This this match has taken a bit of a turn, I'm afraid. <laughs> but yeah, so as long as you don't go, like, super far, right? Then you just say stuff like, Oh, man, uh, fucking, you're a poopy head for tunneling me like that or whatever. I, I, I get it, right? I understand. It's, uh, it's understandable that you'd be, like, upset sometimes. But in that instance, once again, what do you have to be mad about? Like, come the fuck on. You did so good. Uh, join command doesn't work anymore? Presumably not. Not sure. It should. So I'm wondering if uh, it's just like broken or something. If the bot, you know, the bot has gone to sleep. The bot was like, oh, this guy hasn't uh, streamed for freaking a month. I guess he's just g given up now. <laughs> just given up on life. But it, it, I haven't changed anything to it, so it sh should still work. But fret not. I have. I, I am aware of the fact that you want to join me, and I would love to have you on the next match. So worry not, my friend. Yeah? What if I make you test the DMs, right? Yeah. But you have nothing but ketchup. So the avocados aren't good? Yeah, they are good. But I'm not gonna eat them. Now. No, okay. I'm not gonna eat them. What? What? They should you just make ramen? What's happening, by the way? Yeah, but that, that's I'm very confused. Oh, yeah, no, the den is good. That's right. You can have because it sounds good. That sounds good. Appreciate that. Um, have, have a med kit. Goodbye. I'm very confused about everything that just happened there. She let the girl rescue me, but then she... Hit me? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> also, hello, Jorge. Welcome on in, my friend. How you doing, long time no see? What a name of Jeff Bezos am I watching? If only I could tell you, Gucci. This match has been absolutely wild. That is like a very hag sort of experience, isn't it? Where like we're doing really good and then all of a sudden she just like snowballs massively. That is indeed a very uh, hag experience. Alright, tell you what, I'm gonna... You will never catch me here, I have DS. I totally didn't just rescue that girl. Okay, now I'm out. <laughs> What's happening, dude? <laughs> she, must have done, she must have been nice. She must have done that to be nice to me, right? Okay, we do this, and oh my god, that actually scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> okay, now you may kill me. Hello? She's Silent Hill 2 fan, or does she want an autograph? 
What's happening, dude? Well, when in doubt, you guys know what to do. Find a gen. Hold them on. Easy peasy. <laughs> I watched one of my friends play Survivor about a year ago, and they had only been playing the game for like four to five months. There was a cold dad that was playing a bit bad, but was probably new, to be fair. My friend told them to unalive themselves in the end game chat. Yeah. Oh, shit. Was that... Did I fuck up that skill check, or was that uh? That's okay, guys. Check this out. I'm a tree. I'm not gonna crouch because if I crouch, I'm gonna look. Uh, I'm gonna look out of place. But as long as I stand perfectly still, then I am a tree. Uh oh, I, I should have just stayed still, and the plan would have worked perfectly. <laughs> Man, I need to piss. Just kill me, Christ. Uh, needless to say, I haven't played talking much with them since then. No matter how bad your experience in the game, you never tell another person only that themselves. For sure, for sure, I'd say so, right? Like that shit is just like, it's way too far over a game. Like, come the fuck on. Like, I struggle to find, you know. I guess if somebody is, you know, a fucking murderer or that kind of shit, right? And you told them to unalive themselves, that's like fair enough. I wouldn't hold you accountable towards that, right? If somebody's like actually going out fucking murdering people or some shit. But like over a video game. Because they're not playing good. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, what the hell? This is, like, so next level. I tell you what. I think this hag likes me and she's trying to let me go. I think she's a Silent Hill 2 fan and wants an autograph. And I think I should stay, like, right here. Because when she goes and, and inevitably kills that girl. because Or I guess I, I can, you know, maybe she can juice her for 20 minutes and I can just bleed out on the ground. That's also a possibility. But I think the hag is going to come back and try to give me hatch. And I think I should be, like, you know, where she left me. <laughs> <laughs> to make things a little bit easier for her. <clears throat> You're too cute, she doesn't want to kill you. Probably, Javon is just taking pity on me. Because of how bad I played. <laughs> hey, ghost. Welcome on in, my friend. How you doing? How is it going? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a good uh, Thursday. Hell yeah. Wait, did I just see a red light from the killer? I'm very confused. Very confused. Love the hack, not gonna lie. She's, she's pretty sweet, yeah. It's pretty nice. <laughs> I'm a bit confused, not gonna not, not gonna lie. I'm saying not gonna lie way too much, but I, I am a bit confused, is what I can say about this. Sorry for the loud sounds in the background. No worries, sweetie. Fret not. I spent a lot of money on this microphone specifically because it's not supposed to pick up a whole lot of background noise. So uh, if you guys hear anything, it's not the fault of my uh, lovely sweet girlfriend. It is the fault of uh, Shore. Yeah, it's a Shore. It's a Shore microphone. <clears throat> can blame them. <laughs> can I hear anything in the background? Hell yeah. So you're good, sweetie. You've been given thumbs up. It's okay to complain. Going to someone else's stream to tell him as the real problem. Yeah, like a, uh, it's the. I guess the whole issue with this conversation, right, is that there's like so much nuance to it. There's so much, you know, like what are you complaining about? What exactly are you saying? You know, what I'm saying there's too much like variation there. Thank you very much, Hag. You're a sweetheart. I love you. I'm trying to warm inside the hatch. So it's like it's hard to, you know, give a, a general how I feel about this type of situation because there's so much, you know, nuance to it. But generally, like, I, I think it can be, like, totally understandable and, and all, all right, right? And, like, never necessarily, like, a good thing. T-Y, so much. Never necessarily, like, a good thing. But at the same time, like, it could be understandable and, and perfectly fine, right? Mm -mm -mm -mm. But... Do allow me to go uh, piss because I have been ingesting this this year water. Just very good water, but man, Hello. I need to be I real bad. Uh, as always, if anybody would like to join us, my friends, feel free. I can invite you just now, Luxor, but you can either join it on yourself or by yourself, and I will. Uh, uh, yeah, we can queue when I'm back. And thank you very much for the 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 Prime Ghost. Very very appreciated, my friend. Thanks a million, very generous of you. Keep going, I shall, absolutely. And Ghost, uh, since you're a bit newer here, if you would like to, my friend, we do allow chat to join us. So if you would like to play with us, feel free to just let me know and I can invite you in. But of course, you don't have to, you know, not obligatory in any way. <laughs> so if you don't want to and you just want to watch, that's 100% okay as well. But I shall be going to the bathroom and returning shortly. After you come, yes, sir, absolutely. Be right back, though.
Alrighty, I'm returned. Have fun there. Always do, my friend. <laughs> Alrighty, I can invite you if you'd like to join. But we are back, fellas. Gonna play some piano. I'll be back soon. Alright, Giovanna. Have fun, my friend. And, uh, wait, I, dude, I've been wanting to, to get a piano, actually. Not a, a proper piano because I don't have the money or the space for that. Not even in the slightest. House currently would qualify as tiny because the basement is not livable and renovated at, at, at all. But, uh, I've been wanting to get like a, you know, an electric keyboard. And my research has taken me to the FP10 from Roland as a very good sort of like starter, decent option. That's still pretty nice, right? And uh, I don't know if you have any experience with, well, I don't know if you have any experiences with uh, electric keyboards at all. So I would like to hear your thoughts. And I also don't know if you are even here right now because you said you were going to play the piano. <laughs> So maybe once you return, we, I'll, I'll have this conversation again. And right now, I'm essentially talking to myself. <laughs> we'll beat Bill gameplay because I got a flashy challenge and Bill has some flashlight to work with. Yes, sir. Absolutely. That sounds good. I'll tell you what I do need to do, though. So thank you for bringing that up. I need to change my challenges because I, I'm sitting here like an absolute fool with a killer challenge for the past three matches of however many we played. Cleanse totems. Okay. Heal yourself. That's perfect. We got a med kit and everything. Easy peasy, fellas. Also, I assume Discord question mark. Yes, this time, this time I beat you too, Alexor. You didn't have to remind me. Hell yeah. <laughs> there we are. Pop, 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 pop. All right. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got, fellas? Uh, here we go. Got out discorded, yeah, it was like a you know, like a gunslinger, right? Outdrew you this match. You've been you've been beaten. Which is uh you know, my record's still pretty bad because I feel like I feel like most of the times not only do you you have to be the one who reminds me of Discord, but I also read your comment and I go, Oh yeah, for sure. And then it you know, the match finishes and then I start another match and then you have to remind me again and then I'm like, Oh fuck, I forgot. And then I go and uh, and actually do it, so I think your track record is much better than mine. I think I need to sip this water slowly though, otherwise I'm going to spend the entire stream wanting to urinate myself. Which is never the, you know, most ideal situation that you want to be in when you're <laughs> when you're streaming. Dare I say. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Royce. Hmm. Scruben's Discord Redemption Arc? Mayhaps, right? I feel like I've been a lot more punctual lately, right? Ever since I came back to streaming, I feel like I, when I, you know, the, the schedule is supposed to start at 20. And there have been days where I've started at 21, but I feel like I've been a lot more precise about starting at 20. And that is something that I've been wanting to improve in my life. My girlfriend will be very, very pleased to know, but I've been trying to be less late to things. And I thought, you know, fu funny quirk that Scrubens is always late, but, you know, realistically, it's probably not a good thing, right? That you, it's so uncertain when I actually will uh, start streaming. So mayhaps we can redeem ourselves Redem or Discord-wise, and we can re also redeem ourselves. Ooh, booba. We can redeem ourselves uh, clockwise as well, I guess, I suppose. It's gonna be a. Uh... Yep, bamboozle. I saw that coming, boy. Fuck. Fuck! Alright, guys, not gonna lie, I have made errors. I have left a really strong tile to go to an LT wall against a Bubba with bamboozle. Nice. I'm dead. My greed, man! Why did I do that? Oh, no. Oh, real, like, quick gen done, though. I guess the good news is how we didn't uh, give up any any pallets for that, but that, that, that still could have been a lot better. Because, like, I pulled off a really good move, to be honest with you. My big fuck up there... Thank you very much, friend. My big fuck up there was that I hesitated. Here comes the bubba. Do, 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 do. 
But like I hesitated around that pallet. If I had just like kept running in a straight line and I just like did a beeline for it, I would have been like totally fine and I would have been able to drop that pallet and that would have bought, you know, bought us a nice little bit of time. They had bamboozle by the way, fellas. So do keep an eye out for that. Let's hold him one down on this bad boy. Let's make sure we don't do all gins on this side of the map, though, because uh, the gin got done in that corner. And now I'm doing one that's also on this end of the map. So once after we're done here, let's make sure that uh, the next one is more towards the middle or, or that end. Should I force him to vault the other window there there as well? The other window? Which one? Like that one? Uh, I don't think so, Gucci, to be honest with you. Because, like, yeah, I could have, but I think it's it's too risky, you know, because it is a Bubba and he can, like, chainsaw you. So if I if I did that, uh, it would have been, like, if it worked, it would have been great. But would it have worked? I don't know. I think it's it's pretty dicey. It's it's really, like, up to chance. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I feel like in that instance, I would be putting too much of the chase ending potential there on his hands, you know what I mean? Because if he made, like, a single good read or whatever, I would have just got eaten shit. Because, you know, what I mean to say that because I would have had to go, like, towards that end of the map where there's nothing, you know what I mean? I would be, like, kind of, uh... uh what's the word I'm looking for? Like, dead, dead-ended myself. Or dead-zoned myself is actually the word I'm looking for. If he was stupid enough, he would try to vault it and waste his time. He would M1 U most? Not necessarily, I feel like. I feel like if, if he made, like, a good read... You could potentially get a chainsaw on me, you know. How likely would that be? I, I don't know. But I felt like it was better not to take the risk, you know. Like that early in the match, or like plenty of, of, of pallets. Because like what I tried worked perfectly well, you know. Like I went all the way over here. I got to the pallet. I baited it out. We had plenty of time. So I think my plan worked out perfectly. I only fucked up because I hesitated. Ooh, that's potentially bad though. Like that's that was that was my mistake. I don't even you know it wasn't like the bad call. It was just the fact that I I got there right and I baited it out successfully and I kind of loitered around the pallet as opposed to just you know running straight around and, and keeping going. Because if I had done that, it would have been chef's kiss. Okay, yeah, we're doing really good. I do have to rescue though, because this gen's about to get done. We already have progress on that gen way over at the end, and then we have like gens on. Oh my god, the deliverance play. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, we already have uh, gens done, or gens being done on the that side of the map. Plus... <sighs> you don't see me. Oh, he, he sees me. <laughs> he sees me. <laughs> uh, okay, we hit an M1 here, but that's no big deal. Oh my god! Okay. Okay, um, friends. Friends! Spread fury! <laughs> Oh no, that was unfortunate, man. I was wondering why he just didn't M1 me there. How about that? Okay, Spirit Fury, good to know. <laughs> kind of trolling though. We're doing great, Loxor. I think if if that's you trolling, then hey, we're we're doing fantastic. I like, just one gen left to go. That's I'm sure that's about to be done in half a second, probably right. And only me that on hook. Yeah, look at that. And adrenaline on the on the Zarina. Textbook sort of stuff, my friends. Although I guess it didn't help her too much. She got down instantly. <laughs> it was a valiant effort though, and I think the Billy is going for for Ghost, I believe. Yeah, that looks like Yunjin, right? Lux are making a, a bit of a what do you call it? Thinking on his feet. Very clever, my friend. Very smart, thank you very much. I reckon... Oh, you have will make it, though. Oh, but it's so... Oh, I don't know. I don't know, Luxor. What do we do? It's like, it is a Bubba, so it's kind of... Diminishing returns on healing. But Luxor having will make it does make things, like, very enticing, right? I guess we just, like, spread out, right? We spread out, and then I... If I fucking die guys but hey I'll stay alive for as long as I can <laughs> leave me though Uncle Scrubbins is fucking dead <laughs> I'll just take him as far away as I can I kind of just went myself or I, I ran myself into that zone so that was a little bit silly of me not gonna lie I think we did we did really good though throughout the entire match I think 
you know, things just kind of fell apart there towards the end game. But up to that point, I think we did really, really well. Let's see how things end. Shall we? Bop. Bop. Get a bit of an spectate action going. Ooh, rip. Luxor got smacked, but unbreakable though. Don't think he's used it yet. Though sadly, the, the bubble's not going to let him get away with it. I guess it being Bill is a little bit more, you know, to be expected, right? So mayhaps that's why the bubba. Uh, the bubba saw it coming. Now comes the question. Could guarantee two escapes. We could get things risky. Zarina seems... Uh-oh. Yeah, that's a little bit... That's a little bit sketch. Oh, Ghost is insane, though. Ghost is a registered mad lad. Will he go for the rescue? Luxor's really damn far away from the exit gate too, so this is not going to be easy. But Ghost does not care. Ghost was per will, will perish to get his homie out. Got that a warm up? That's fair, for sure. I think we did really good though, all things considered. Still, you know. Run, Luxor! Run, my friend. It's looking like it's going to be a noble sacrifice from our friend Ghost. But hey. I, I suppose at the end of the day it worked out well, right? Because that's still two escapes for us, so good stuff. Well, I shouldn't say anything right now because you never know when it's going to be Blood Warden. But no Blood Warden. <laughs> GG's. Very generous of you, Ghost. Very nice sacrifice. Very good stuff. Hmm. Oh, Lightborn. Ooh, no Lightborn. Wait, was that Lightborn? I don't think so, right? I actually have no clue. I thought I saw the, the ring going down a little bit. No Lightborn. GG's. Yes, I have barbecue, good old Enduring, and Bim or sorry, Enduring and Spirit Fury, which we absolutely ate, and then the bamboos of which we didn't see. So GG's, good stuff, everyone. Save the flashlight, nice. Never left from behind. You are a generous soul. Goes to very nicely done. A hero indeed. That was really good. Good job. It's a little bit, you know, always like scary and spooky, right? Because you never know when. Uh, you're gonna end up feeding the the killer uh, another kill inadvertently, but at the same time, dare I say, it's a lot more fun to 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 make the sketchier move, right? So great work, my friend. Just want a flashlight blind. Oh, do you need a single one? That does suck, right? When you need like one more for a challenge or something like that, and it just it, you just can't get it. It just things just do not line up. The one where I had to like vault the window six times and I had to it somehow took me like four matches to do it because I just wouldn't get in a chase with like either there would be no windows or I would just be caught by uh, an instant down killer that would just immediately annihilate me and then I would get like tunnel off the hook yada yada and you would think you'd be able to do that you know easy peasy in like one match and it took me like four first of all that doesn't camp early into the game yeah I mean that guy didn't camp at all so indeed it's not the most uh, bubba sort of behavior but we appreciate it. Need four more Chris, but I had the challenge for five matches, but I only faced insta kill, fuck your palette skillers, and like Bubba or Oni. Right, and this guy particularly had uh, not only that, he also had Spear Fury and Adoring and the fast uh, chainsaw break as Bubba. So that is tough. But I know I know I know the pain, for sure. Cause uh I feel like when I get those, I keep running into Nemesis and Tricksters and Huntresses and Plagues, like that those kinds of killers. Where, you know, because the, the easiest way to do it is definitely wait for them to break the pallet and then you blind them. But then, you know, you, you run into a killer that is either bringing Lightborn or is a Huntress that could just like fuck you up if you try to do that. I want to judge late game, early into the game, that's another story. Yeah, that's fair, right? I feel, uh, once again, it's whatever, right? It, it's a video game, blah, blah, yada, yada, etc, etc. But I, I will agree that there's, you know very different dynamics to camping early in the game to camping late in the game right because like late in the game is kind of like well that's just like the, the the best thing to do by far where while early in the game i guess depending on the circumstances it can be a smart thing to do but most of the time i feel like it's just somebody either wanting to be a dick or just somebody who's like maybe a bit newer and doesn't understand that camping isn't the the best strategy or maybe it's just you know a man of culture doing the classic basement bubba right that's also possible, or always a possibility too. 
didn't even give me a, a flashlight by at the end. Yes. <laughs> I love how, like, the characters just, like, teleport, dude. Like, I want somebody to calculate the speed at which the survivors crouch, and it must be, like, 200 miles an hour or some of that. It must be enough to, like, give yourself a spine injury. Oh, goodness. What happened there? That was quick. Must be an instant now, right? Except I didn't... What the frick? Who is it? Oh, Ghosty, yeah. I guess it got marked and I didn't even notice. Rip, dude. Wait, I'm very sorry about that, Luxor. Uh, we can be the ones to rescue in this case. Except we cannot because he's seen me. Alright, change of plans, everyone. I need a gamer to come and rescue. I think I'm going to eat an M1 here. Actually, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think this guy ran his... Uh, this pathing wasn't very efficient. I'm gonna eat a fucking marked status here. So hard. This guy's trying really hard though. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm fucking dead. Oh, man. <laughs> this is why I... This is the thing I was ranting about the other day, man. Like, Ghostface's thing is so freaking inconsistent. It's amazing. Like, there's no fucking way I... If it was me playing Ghostface, I peeked that shit for like half a second. And I just immediately get, uh, revealed. But I'm just staring at this man's soul, which to be fair, he did come, you know, like, out, out, and in, out, and in, out, and in, out, and in. So it's not like he was just, like, staring at me. But I feel like the game was a lot more generous there than it would have been with me. Can I not mark him on the hook? He's behind that rock over there. I'm looking at him. Yeah, like, well, classic game, right? It's not allowing me to reveal him when... Okay, but he got reviewed by somebody else. Good stuff, good stuff. Then you got a grab TBH? Oh yeah, that might have been it, Gucci, actually. But to be honest, I wasn't like paying too much attention one way or another. So I can't... But that, that would make sense, though. Like, getting grabbed off the generator. Thank you very much, Luxor. Let's go way back to that generator that we were at. Hopefully there was no... Because uh, if you had, like, Surge or something... Could have gotten a bit of regression. Or I guess Pain res potentially, but thankfully he did not. Ooh, and the Leon's here too. Oh, haha, <laughs> the Leon. I think I scared him. <laughs> yes, three men proved itself. Fuck yeah, dude. Generators fear us. Beautiful. Uh oh. <laughs> it's okay, bud. It happens. You okay? What's happening? Hello? How'd you do that? You good? Gamer? Yeah, okay. Let me know if you need help with anything. Ghost is doing great though. He is juicing that man. That's a long chase. We should make ourselves useful and get a gen done in the meantime. I man, this is a rough tile to like body block in though, because I could easily fuck Ghost over. Oh wow, he's not coming for me, huh? I thought he would I kinda gave him a free swing there. I really did not want to, like, send back him. That would be terrible. Oh, shit! Let's <laughs> go face a bit. Okay, there you go. Yes, very good. Yeah, I suck at this game, dude. Come for me. Not even kidding, though. I actually am, am terrible. Ghost is much better than me, I'm sure. <laughs> Let's try to last as long as we can. That's a weird-ass tile that I do not know how to play, though. He seems to have gone in stealth mode. Interesting, 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 interesting. Why did he just drop chase on me like that? Very curious. Great job, Ghost. The man got a... Uh, he got sick of chasing you. That was really nicely done. And now, ladies and gentlemen... Ah, I can heal you. Perfect. Uh-oh. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we... uh can do this just to maybe piss him off. <laughs> Cover me. Oh, dude, that was close. That was one of those where I, you know, as a killer, I'm like, dude, how the fuck do you get a fast vault? So for the first time in my life ever, I was able to get a fast vault in a situation like that. Hey, Nova, welcome in. How you doing? Funny that the past, the past the soup command is working, Luxor. But not the, not the joint command. Dude, look at, come on! What is this? I hate this game. What are you trying to do here? What the, I must be 99, right? And he's waiting. Ask me what it is. 
But like, freaking... Thank you, sweetie. Swear to Christ, like, it's impossible to freaking reveal Ghostface when I'm the survivor. And yeah, when I'm the Ghostface, it's like, dude, this man just got a, a freaking... He saw your toe. No fucking way. And then I... Oh my god, man. Life is sad. Huh? <gasps> that was really close, though. Nice try, Luxor. And I've just... Got, I just destroyed God Pal like an absolute idiot. That might be the worst thing I've ever done. I got a little bit excited, I guess. <laughs> and deliverance, oh my god. Goes like God, man. He doesn't need any help. Good work. But yeah, I... Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I fucking hate Ghostface, man. The, the reveal mechanic is so trash. Okay, Loxor got a blind out of God Palette. Therefore, I'm not as upset now that I dropped it like that. <laughs> because at least Loxor got something out of it. Bless. Fine, just hell tire, I got you, my friend. But hey, at, at least it'd be 21, right? Unless you work the graveyard shift. It should be resting time. So hopefully you're able to uh, chill out a little bit. It's the, I guess that guy's afraid of getting marked, which is fair enough. But hey, I'm already injured, so I ain't got nothing to be scared about. Ha ha ha, you've wasted your thing. Joke's on you, buddy. Is he confused or what? Is he gonna... How likely is he to come for me, I wonder? I mean, I am injured, you know, it'll be, it'll be a down, regardless, but... Is he going to? I don't know. Let's see, is he... Maybe he has, like, a, a daily or something for Ghostface, and that's why he's been trying to, like... But then again, the Ghostface dailies, it's marked people, right? It's not down people. But I feel like he's had, like, a couple opportunities to hit me, and he's chosen to... Try and mark me instead. Which I guess is understandable. Ooh, rip. Looks or die for the gen, though. That's, that's a move I can approve. As a registered gen goblin. That is a move that I 100% approve. For the gen, hell yeah, Luxor. Hell yeah, my friend. I think we can... Should we rescue you first? I think so, right? Because we don't know about, like, Noah and stuff. I don't think the... And I'm not that on Hulk either, so I, I think... I think rescue first, heal later is definitely the move here. <clears throat> this face is gonna... I don't think... Yeah, it's too close. We can't really eat the hits, sadly. Uh, that, broke his, that broke his 3 gen. Nice, Luxor. Good stuff, my friend. Yeah, we've been, we've been playing really good. It was a pretty uh, textbook, textbook match over here. That being said, how likely is he to camp? I have no- I think he's camping. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And once again, see me stare at this man. And the game is like, nah, we're not gonna give you the reveal. And yet, when I play Ghostface, I basically look at the moon and then I get revealed by a survivor standing down in the open there. It's like, ah, oh, sorry dude, Neil Armstrong just revealed your ass. Sucks to be you, I guess. I'll try to take him to the side of the map. Just waste his time and stuff, because... Is he gonna camp? I really don't know. I lost track of him. This is kind of spooky, actually. I'd love to get that rescue man, but I don't know where he is. <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> okay, he's over there. Ah, joke's on you. I'm already injured. If I hold W, how far do I make it? I guess I'll just try to go down as close to... The exit gate as I can. Blink. Uh. Go, friends, go. Ah, oh, let's go, dude. GG. Hell yeah. Good stuff, everyone. Good match. Nice. No, no way, too. That would have been an unfortunate development if Ghost went down like that. Textbook gaming, everyone. Good, good stuff. Did we complete the challenge as well, by the way? Nope, looks like we did. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Lethal. Surge. Interesting. I guess he I, he just didn't down me. What the fuck? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm stupid. Sorry. Because like I thought about the possibility of him having Surge, and he did turn out to have Surge. But then what happened was we went back, and the Leon was on, and that's why the gen wasn't regressing. Mm-mm. Try not to break your control key, Yoon. Is this guy giving shit to somebody for crouching? 
Or is it like what, like teabagging maybe? I have no idea. I, it must be like he's he's annoyed about teabagging, right? It has to be what it is, surely. You can't. <laughs> like, that would be like just too much. If they were angry because the survivor crouched too much, it's like, bro, come on. Like, what the fuck? Like, you're just, you're just like looking up for, like, you know, look, looking for reasons now at this point. <laughs> well, I'm buying that match. Hell yeah. Clear my own God Palette because I'm bad with flashes. Are you sure, Luxor? Because I thought on God Palette, I saw, like, the reason I, I thought you got the blind was because I saw the, the thing where, you know, once you get the blind, the flashy goes like, and it kind of, like, you know, lights up the whole room. I thought I saw that. But maybe I'm wrong. I think it was talking about me. I think so too, yeah, because it said Yunjin, right? And we only had one that match. Got one a later palette. I was really close, but he managed to look into the ground. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. But hey, alas, you get there. Fret not. <laughs> Sooner or later. Uh, sweetie. Do you want to play? Do you want to play? Sorry? You don't really want to play? Do you want a podcast? Do you want a podcast? You can tell me no, that's cool. You can, you can tell me no, that's cool. No, yeah, but it's up to you. Okay. Love cast, indeed, Luxor. But yeah, fellas, uh, I'm just gonna go eat super quick. And then my lovely girlfriend will uh, be here and entertain you. With her nice new haircut. Fuck. <laughs> Glowy cat is not a command. I forgot the SO. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I can't help it. I'm stupid. There you go. Thank you, Luxor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, brilliant. Anyways, I will be right back. And uh, yes, be, be be nice to my girlfriend. Be nice to my chat. Yeah. Sit on down. And you're on Discord with Lux. This is your where. Hi, Luxor. Fuck yeah, good videos. Yes, yes. How am I? I'm doing good. That was hard for me to answer. I was like, I am doing good. Ugh. How are you guys doing? How are you, Luxor? I burned the shit out of my finger, like, really bad. <laughs> That's good. Sorry? No, it's there's no wound, but it's just, I just burnt it. I just, like, I, it's like the stove, right? I just put my finger on the stove when it was hot. So yeah. <laughs> no, but it, it was like already, because we have like, we have like, I think it's called like induction. And I, I put it and I was like, Pff. no, it wasn't a smart move. But I didn't think it was that warm, even though I used it like two seconds ago, which is stupid. I, I don't this chair is I can't put my feet up I'm sliding <laughs> okay this is this is not gonna happen so guys what's your favorite um, DBD perk you guys are DBD people right what's your favorite DBD perk Oh my god. Prove thyself. Yeah, that's a good one. I like I like um I like kinship, I think it's called. That's my favorite one. Or leader. A really shitty one. <laughs> I'm I'm like freaked out because I don't have anything in my earphone. Brian a lot? Oh, is that the killer perk? Call of Brian. Actually, um, what does Chris play? He plays Elden Ring. I've only watched Jorma play it. And Chris, of course. Of course. Both. No spoilers. No, I, I, I've only, like, I don't think, I've only seen, like, clips of Jorma play it. Um, and him falling off the edge was pretty fun. That's, like, my favorite. <laughs> Is is too good by the way? Hi. Is too good by the way? Yeah, two quesadillas? Yeah. Okay, good. 
Is it good? That's good. I I freaking I had um listen. I walked into Subway, right? And I'm like, I want a wrap. And I I took a wrap. <laughs> I ate it. But um I was gonna say fuck what was I gonna say. Double mustard No. Absolutely not. They have like oh a cloud berry jam with uh, deer meat and I'm like yes quesadillas with ketchup <clears throat> but I would like to do a cooking stream at some point because um, Chris is buying a laptop or he bought a laptop so that will be really fun to do like cooking stream at some point uh, don't really know what to cook though. Probably dinner. I don't know if Chris wants to be included. Yeah, food. What are you guys' favorite food? Or locks right at the moment because you're talking. Huh? Your tech guy? Yeah. And then you, you eat it. Taste test. Mm -hmm. Chris is saying that he wants to be the, the tech guy. I do sound and stuff probably too easy to make uh, <clears throat> hamburger I'm actually not a hamburger fan I fast food is not my thing kill but Chris is a huge hamburger guy he's a huge hamburger guy I am- I am not so much. Hamburger. I used to eat, um, when me and my mom went to McDonald's when I was younger. I was quite a chubby child. Uh, she- I used to have nuggets and dip, um, dip my carrots in ketchup. <gasps> McDonald's is not a burger, it is trash. Calling that for a burger is a crime. <gasps> Chris is such a big McDonald's guy. I I don't like McDonald's like at all. I I prefer like our version, which is like Max. I don't know if they have it like in in Norway or Denmark, but I like it. But he. Mhm. Mm yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. He would never get McDonald's to get a burger. Yeah. He used to like buy like four, like three or four just burgers, have it in the microwave, and just like throughout the day just eat them. It's like, but they're so small. They're so small, I could eat them. They're poison as well, so they stay Yeah, they're poison? Yeah. yeah. They stay good. They stay good for a long time. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had like a really gourmet. He isn't drunk and McDonald's burgers are tiny, yeah. Like, Loxo, he's, he's Norwegian, so he like, he eats like the fancy food, you know? He eats the, the fancy. <laughs> I feel like that's my like Norwegian people to me are just like really fancy Swedish people like the the upgraded version of Swedish people we're kind of like the raccoons and they're like the the bears <laughs> if that makes sense Some spoiled sweets yeah sweets <clears throat> I would like to go to Norway someday I definitely would be down for that. Cause my my grandpa, he's like a big Nor Norway fan. Like he he raves about Norway all the time. Um, bye bye. Um, but um, yeah, he's making me want to go. 
If you want some pizza salad that I just made, there is some in the fridge. I mean some pizza salad. The only thing about Norway is that valley price as soon as you're thinking about buying anything. Yeah. Huh? What's pizza salad? What do you mean what's pizza salad? Oh. Thank you. It's a, it, I, it's up in a cliff. It's not, I don't have this short hair, but thank you. It's, it's like to here, but <laughs> just so you don't think I'm, I'm the new, I, I just copied Chris. Yeah, um, thank you. I don't know why, but I have this thing. It's like my grandma and my mom just always told me that like, don't cut your hair because you look like a man. <laughs> Oh, there's a girl with a new cool hair. Hey, Bo, what's up? Wife with the. Oh my god, everyone's here. Oh my goodness. Oh. <clears throat> How often do you get a haircut? Um, I don't know. I like once per year, maybe. Like, um, I know that a lot of people get like haircuts. There are women get haircuts like every half a year. Or like maybe even more. My mom does that a lot. Okay. I'm not gonna do that again. But yeah. I don't know. It's I don't I don't like I, I just like I, I don't wanna pay freaking like uh, I don't wanna pay five hundred or well five hundred kroners, but five fifty euros to get my fucking haircut, so I just cut it myself. But now I actually got like a proper cut, so I, I am willing to pay that. Also, the girl that cut me was really sweet. I came here to, uh, I came here to actually, cause, but you're here, so I'm excited even though I saw you like so many- Yeah, literally like, me, when me and Sophie have a call together, and it's obviously like, Charlie, her boyfriend, and Jack also, I don't know if you guys see them. Uh, but literally like we turn on our camera everyone does and it's like look at this thing It's like look at this thing. It's like show and tell. It's literally like what it is. Oh Look at this You know uh, Yes about the wallet crying um, I Heard from my sister. She lives in Norway Um and she said that everything is mega, mega, mega expensive. I don't really know how to communicate. Yeah, basically. Same with Jack though. He just he just shows some show and tells. And thank you, Mo. Um. Oh wait, these. See here. Wait. Help. Help. Wait, I have to run to the light. Wait. Now I'm blind too for your strong ass lights. Uh, what are you gonna ask Chris by the way? I I can I can convey the message. Oh my goodness. Our Lord Lord and Savior Chris. Chris is okay. You know what? I'm not gonna talk shit. Okay. <laughs> Listen, Chris is great and all, right? Literally, we have a glass door, right? To our, our bedroom. I'm talking to Sophie and whatever, right? And he presses his face in the glass. And he does it to like, cause there's like small individual, like little windows. And he makes a penis from his like, his nose oil. It just makes a penis and then he doesn't clean it. He just goes away and I'm like, huh? I'm like, yeah, literally. Sorry? What? Yeah, but I cleaned it, so. Yeah, I cleaned the penis. Yeah, and then he just leaves it. Dude, I, I can literally make like a little sketchbook for you guys to share amongst yourself with the, all the things that Chris does is, that is um, 
odd behavior. <clears throat> Number one, eat everything with ketchup. He was freaky. <laughs> he is pretty freaky. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Great. Quiz's item is I don't know about that one. I'm happy you, you like him. Like, obviously, I like him too. He's pretty good. But, um. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh no, Chris doesn't have a Swedish keyboard. What do I do? Chris has like four or three screens. That's so like weird to me. Why as humans do we think it's like that? It is, it is like that. It is draw penis. I wonder if people who don't think penis humor is funny, what do they, what do they draw? Do they draw smiley faces? Is that all they draw? Also, I want to share this, right? <clears throat> the whole time, I was... Oh my god, he has so many, like, things. Holy shit. He has so many, um... In-game, wait. <laughs> Starting suit ending, be right back. DVD in game. Okay, let's switch to that. Yeah! The few people that don't think he is funny is currently the death row. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, my. I, I, I think penis is funny. Every time, like, you play, like, Jackbox or something, you always say penis. Like, penis, come, uh. or someone's name. <laughs> Hello. I am Chris girlfriend. Food. What is food? Oh. Chris has so many like on his uh his We <laughs> Yeah, literally like we're playing fucking Jackbox with our friends, right? And our one of our friends just l like drew a little shape, like literally just any shape. With eyes. Yeah, with like really dark eyes, and was like Jesus Christ, fucker. Is that what that was named? The psychopath. Why are you on the screen? I was just on it. I was just. I well. I wanna. I wanna show how what what I remind myself of. Mm. But now you ruined it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Nightmare. Okay. So thank you guys. Thanks for taking over. For Appreciate hanging it. out, Murka shirt. Thank you. I shall I shall be in chat and lurking and stuff. That is what I'm going to do, and then I will. How many bottles do I have? Uh, probably like two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, I am coming back to Discord. I'm currently playing, uh, I'm currently playing Lego Star Wars. No, fuck, what am I saying? I have played Lego Star Wars, but I'm playing Lego, um, <sighs> Lego villains? Marvel? No, DC villains. It's really good. That's a nice number. That's a nice number. That's a pleasant number. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye guys. Thanks for taking over. Thanks for food. Hello, Sophie. Hello, Mo. Hello, Kay. Welcome on in. Thank you very much. Kill. Uh, now you've just undone everything, and you have now are a physical abuser. Yay, I, li I like how the, the Patrick emote is back. Welcome on in, Mo. I want to steal that emote so bad, but I could now. Somebody must have paid money for that, right? I'm gonna get sued. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what to draw. Ah, yes, a penis. Sophie, you are totally right. You say, like, we as humans. I'm pretty sure there is, like, uh, what do you call it? Like, ancient drawings from, like, you know, back in the Roman times or whatever. Or just, like, people just, like, doodling penises and shit, right? 
So it is very much what our, you know, human brains default to, it seems. <laughs> and it's a very good question, and I'm afraid I do not know the answer for it, but it is what it is. <clears throat> 22.2k, nice. 222. Are we getting back to Discord? I believe she is, Sophie. She hasn't answered that already. So I played that day. Steam told you booted it up. Wait, which one? Which one are you talking about? A few people that don't think Pina Zimmer is funny is currently on death row. Yes. I, that, that, I would consider that a crime. Not gonna lie. You got some news? Hit, hit me, Kay. What you got? What are the news? Did you manage to uh, figure out an even better combination? A uh, uh, survivor that looks even more like Bubba? The Legend of the Glass Door Penis is back. I Can I go by that title, please? Change my name on, on, on Twitch and everything. Just rebrand completely. The Glass Door Penis. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <clears throat> Hello, Mo. Welcome on in. At least somebody appreciates Patrick. How could you not? Oh my god, like Patrick is so good, dude. I love that emote. It's <laughs> it looks fantastic. It's like kind of cursed in a way, but and I, I, you know, dare I say, cursed in the best way possible. I don't see how you could possibly not like that emote. It's fucking genius. Can I come next game with a friend? I will recommend you to him as leave a follow as on support your poopoo -poo survivor plays. Yeah, for sure, Gucci. Indeed, you may, my friend. Since, you know, there's a... I, I must say, though, if... Because, uh, like, you know, usually I try to play with viewers. So, if another viewer wants to join, he'll probably be the first to get the boot, you know? But as long as we have a spot open, of course... Oh, my God! That actually scared me. Dude, she had no fucking terror radius, did she? She snuck up on me big time. Oh, my God. But yeah, so long as we have a spot open, absolutely. Time to go. Let's try to abuse the fuck out of uh, the, this map here. Which is very, very broken. Particularly with Windows of Opportunity. It makes it extra nasty. Drop this. We have so much to work with, man. It's not even funny. Alright, calm down. Calm down, James. Ooh. Break this, and we can try to make it to that main building, although that might have been a bad call, to be honest with you. Except it's not because she's gonna not even bother. Hell yes, yeah, son. <clears throat> she's Stinky Jack and Charlie are playing RuneScape. Uh, I should probably not. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. I can... Oh, this is a free... I'm stupid. This is a red one. Bit of a shame that, but I guess we can go ahead and put this one in this corner where the gen is already done, so she has no reason to come over here. And then we're going to put both of her fountains on the same corner. So I guess this is as good of a cleanse as we can perform at the moment. That means that we want to make sure this map a really big thing is to not three-gen ourselves. So if we can get gens done on that side now, probably going to be the best for us. Uh, but lock stores on that side, which is unfortunate. I guess I can get ready for uh, an unhook here. I have 800 followers. Congrats! Uh, Jesus Christ. Congratulations, Kay. That's super cool, man. Very, very nice. Keep it up. And soon you shall be getting to, well, uh, like... I, got, I feel like after 100, the, the big uh, number is 500, right? So on to 500, my friend. But, like, 100 is really cool, right? Because now you're at triple digits. Like, hell yeah. Then once you're past that, do not touch the man. He needs to cleanse. Oh, crap. Once you're past that, you get looking forward to 500. So congratulations, my friend. I'm very happy for you. Uh, we're tunneling again. And of course, it's Luxor. <laughs> Luxor is guaranteed to be tunneled, like, 100% of the time somehow. It's amazing. Oh, she has bamboozle. Let's see if we can... I'm going to even use my medkit and all. Dear God, go fast. Run, Luxor. I guess it's totally fine using my medkit here because, you know, it is a plague, so it's not like we're going to be getting a, a ton of use out of it anyways. Ooh, Luxor's ballsy, I love it. Big balls, big balls, big balls. Mm. You DBD name for your Chris, Glass Door Penis? Yes. I like that. I 100% appreciate that, for sure. <laughs> 
Luxor gets tunneled so you don't have to. There's something about Luxor, man. He, like, I feel like she gets tunneled way too often. It's amazing. And I don't feel like he plays in a way to get himself tunneled, you know? Because I used to, like, play with some people who, like, would just, like, teabag and, you know, and flashy click and all this, like, stuff, right? And then they'd be like, man, why do I get tunneled so much? It's like, are you, are you really asking me that question? I have a, I have a very clear idea of why you get tunneled. I think it's, it's very simple to me, really. Cle crystal clear as day. Luxor, uh, Luxor doesn't play like that. Yeah, somehow the, the poor lad always finds himself getting tunneled. It's amazing. Bonk. Uh, we don't have God Pallet. Uh, oh, shit. That being said... Do have a pretty good one here. Hmm, does she have her power? I don't think so, right? I gotta be careful though, because now all I have is a window to work with, and I'll be a, a fair bit of a distance till the next tile. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, no problem. I'm surprised she didn't take that vault with Bamboozle. Oh god. Oh, we're fine. Barely. We're not fine. We're not fine. We're not fine. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Whoops. Looks for the chat. Absolutely. A hundred percent. But what you doing to celebrate, Kay? Or are you doing anything to celebrate? Any, like, special spicy thing? Because I think, uh... I don't know that I did anything too crazy for, for 100, to be honest. But for 500, we had a 12-hour stream. Which was uh, quite fun. But I don't think I did anything too crazy for 100. Have you got anything planned? Time to go. Oh, uh, well, I, I need to cleanse. Uh, she's got three founds left. There's only two people infected. I wonder if a cleanse is worth it here or not. I generally don't know. I guess I'll wait. You know what? I think Luxor goes and cleanses there. We go in and cleanse here. I think that's not going to be too bad of a move. Don't know that uh, Claudette can cleanse herself, but... Suppose we bypass, uh... What was that part called again? Bypass Thanatophobia? Oh, the worst thing in the world. She is very wary of this generator here, though. Keeps coming back to it and all. <gasps> yes, Luxor. Prove thyself. Yes! I see the determination in his eyes as he's coming. He has the same intentions as I. To fuck this gen shit up. Let's go. Uh oh. I wonder if that girl's been followed or not. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, call that. You cleanse on the last fountain, and we are gonna be doing so good, bro. Cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. It's around here somewhere. Go for that glow. Uh oh. Okay, this changes things. <laughs> that being said, I, th I think we're still doing pretty good, though. But if that call that had cleansed a little bit earlier. Uh oh. Okay, what can I do here? Meow. Wait, the that's a god. Okay. <laughs> now we're in trouble. Nice. That's a shame, though. I did not realize that the... Uh, the plague was right here. Uh, let me heal you with the medkit. Looks are doing really good. Just gonna kick the generator. She doesn't seem to be aware of us, bless. <clears throat> I wonder if we can go over here, jump onto this gin. No chance we get that rescue, right? Maybe there is though. What the hell? Yeah, the plague's playing a bit weird. Uh, now uh, both of us are infected though. We, yeah, we both of us should not have touched her there. So that was a bit of a, a mistake. Oh goodness. Dude, I'm making so much noise. She's gonna kick that gen and she's 100% gonna hear me. No chance that she doesn't, right? <laughs> uh, just one more found that she's got left, though. If that claw that could cleanse, dude, that'd be huge for us. Uh, yeah, this is looking really dicey. Call that. It's not, it's not gonna, gonna, gonna cleanse ever, dude. The plague's over there. If she, does, if she doesn't drink right away, this is gonna really fuck her up. Go, 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 go. 
God, that bar's slow, man. Please! Bless. That should be it, right? I should force her to get the power. Yeah, it did. Nice. Fantastic, dude. This is rough, though. Oh, man! No! And now I get the skill check as I'm getting off the gen. That's brilliant. Rough, dude. But you're not affected just yet. I think I'm ready to hit here if I go through there, so I guess I just kind of... Yeah, I'll just take the speed boost, honestly. Basement Goblin ate this message, so we're posting. Speaking of emo screw, I'm working hard. or hardly working. Any emotes you want specifically? Uh, Sophie. You got me... I haven't thought about that, to be entirely honest with you. So now now you got me... You got me thinking. Any emos, emos that I want specifically. I feel like just kind of like basic stuff, you know what I mean? Is there anything that I have that is like... Or sorry, that, that I'm lacking that I wanted? Because I think I have all my bases covered with the current ones, right? So I guess the idea would be more to like replace those as opposed to add upon them. But I, I feel like just kind of like the, the basic ones, you know what I'm saying? Kind of like smiling, kind of like saying hello, you know, maybe like a raid one, like that kind of stuff. Maybe, uh, would there be anything else? I, I feel like we really need to try another generator, though. She's fucking that one up big time. We had a really good thing going, but now it's kind of falling apart. So, so I, th I think just kind of like the, the, the basic ones, you know, Sophie? That being said, if I uh, think of anything, I'll definitely uh, ask you. Because right now, there's nothing that comes to mind too much. Those are spicy little dead hard. Yeah, that gen's got barely any progress and it's infected too. This is tough, dude. This is rough as hell. I wonder did we three gen ourselves at all? I don't think so, right? Because like one, two, three here. I think the plague knows that as long as we don't... Oh boy. There's three gens over here. As long as we don't do any on this side of the map, I think the plague knows that uh, she's totally fine. So she's just gonna like protect this area with her life. Which I suppose makes perfect sense. It's so sad though, because we were so close to getting that gen in the corner done. I feel like we got it up to like 80-ish percent a couple of times. Uh, I'm I think I'm affected Luxor, so it doesn't even do anything. I appreciate it though. Very nice of you. As for our rage, happy lurk, condol and sad, just hanging, upside down screws, I like that, and laughing. Yeah, it sounds like you got most of the, the bases covered, huh? I'd say like that's that's like a... Uh, you definitely have like the, the bases covered, like I said. Would there be like any more like... Because uh, I would say, I think like laughing, right? You have that. I think like happy, you have that. Like rage, you have that. Sad, have that. Uh, I guess maybe like a, a hello? Something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like holding the little hand up. Like, yo, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Maybe like a raid one as well. Those are the dead. That's a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a very good call, actually. What about your version of Keck, Keck W, Chris? That'd be nice, actually. <laughs> That'd be funny. But th I guess that's just like laughing, right? I guess that is simply the one that we've currently got. Uh, uh. Alright, Claudia, not gonna lie. I think this is a uh, hold down M1 of the generator. One of us dies and the last one gets the hash. This is this is rough. This play gets played really well. Because we didn't... We didn't 3-gen ourselves, right? But at the same time, this map is like tough enough. That even if, you know... It doesn't matter that we didn't 3-gen ourselves. Because there's still one way over in that corner. And we have to do one of these three. So we've effectively, you know, as long as the play ignores that side of the map. Which she's going to because oh fuck, which she's going to because why wouldn't she? Then we have it effectively like three gender selves, right? So a bit unfortunate that. But I think we did really good until we we didn't <laughs> until, until things started falling apart real bad. I can try to get her to eat a pallet, but it's very risky. Oh, I'm one rip. All right, now I'm gonna let myself buy a hook and hopefully this girl finds hatch. Raid is also there because the ones I did before are outdated. Oh, did you... Nice. Hell yeah, thank you, Sophie. 
Very appreciated. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just let myself die. Hopefully this girl gets hatched, because otherwise I don't think anything else is happening. I think a, a hatch play now is the best we can hope for. Uh, we have a 3-gen we need to break, because she defend but she defended it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We had a gen on the opposite side of the map. She protected her 3-gen. On this map, you need the first 2-gens to be done on the opposite side of the map from one uh, another, really. I'd say so, too. Yeah, for sure. Because it, it's the thing, right? Like, we didn't 3-gen three 3-gen three gen ourselves in the sense that, you know, there was still, like, one gen way over in the corner of the map. But it doesn't... If, if the killer just completely ignores that one generator and just protects the 3-gen, then we've effectively just 3 gen ourselves anyway. So you are completely right. <gasps> she did get the hatch. Hell yeah. GG's. All right. Very nice. Save the best for last as well, which is a bit of a weird pick on Nurse, I'd say, actually. Nurse, whoops. Plague. Sorry. So boring. I don't blame her. Good 3-gen. I don't blame her for defending it. TBH. <clears throat> like, it's more, you know... It's also partially our mistake. You know, we have to, like, acknowledge, right, and own up to that. Cause like that that is a, a brutal map for three genning and you really have to to be careful and i guess we got a little bit excited and ahead of ourselves and didn't notice what was going on so i don't really blame her as killer means the two of us are in mad at plague she played it well and smartly yeah for sure for sure because like not only we kind of you know handed her the opportunity on a silver platter but like, also, we were doing really good. I, I think that if the Plague hadn't done that, she would have had absolutely no chance whatsoever of winning, right? So I cannot, in, in good conscience, give her shit for doing the one thing that would allow, allow her to play well. Chris, I have an idea for emote. Get your own version of this emote. You got to speak to our registered artist, Sophie, my friend. You will see, uh, you know, she got that the whole tag and everything. That's pretty cool that Twitch added that, by the way. The artist tag is pretty fucking dope. But you, you must speak to her. She's the one who's, uh, you know, working on it. I'm, I'm simply giving ideas, <laughs> which are all terrible. And she's, uh, you know, helping them make the helping make them less terrible. This match was either four minute escape or a three four K. I feel like for sure. For sure. I think that if she hadn't played the way that she did, and she had let us break that three gen, I think it would have been game over for her, right? Because we finish one of those generators, then we have gens on either side of the map. She does not have like really the, the pressure on us because I, I guess it's plague, so she always had the possibility of snowballing, right? But like why leave it to chance? So you're totally right. If she hadn't done that, I think that would have been like a three three escape at least for us pretty easily. If I didn't miss a skill check earlier, I think we would have managed to finish skill check. So I kind of lost a match with a missing that skill check. It happens, right? Sometimes it happens, my friend. So I, I say I wouldn't worry too much about it. I still think we did pretty solid, you know? And it, it is it is tough, too, because, like, Plague, being able to, like, puke on the generators and keep people injured and infected, you know, and getting pressure that way is very, very difficult. So I think we did great overall. And even if uh, we ended up not being able to finish it because of the missed skill check... It happens. What can you say, right? Uh, good map for us, by the way. I don't hear uh, b -b 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 bird moving. I do wonder if it's a the killer that's been through there or what. I don't hear any terriers at all, which is kind of spooky. So you have to do, you know, let's assume it's a ghost face or something, then do the thing. <laughs> In case somebody's getting chased, the, the megas. Mm -hmm. Oh, there she goes. Getting grabbed. Oh, could that be a, an Oreo or something? It feels kind of weird the way she the animation did. I feel like Oreo has kind of wonky animations. Nope, it's a Dredge. Oh, okay. Yeah, that does make sense. Dredge also has wonky animations. I was about to like, go around looking for TVs, but... Not quite. He's going to teleport to a uh, thing, I'm sure, though, right? 
brick burst away. It's kind of camping, kind of not really camping. Oh. I'll make a Scroob's emote with glasses and also maybe do a Pui's emote. But they're all as Chris and your little wolf mask was sort of. Not human. I, I, yeah. And he looks adorable. That's what I'll, uh, that's one little spoiler that I'll give you guys. I like those ideas though, Sophie. You are indeed, uh, you have a better, what are you going to call that? Artistic in Speaking of missing skill checks, Luxor. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Artistic instincts. Better ideas. I don't even know what you'd qualify that as, but whatever it is, uh, yours are much better than mine. Because <laughs> he actually threw a, a couple of uh, thoughts in there that I hadn't, I hadn't come up with. Man, the tunneling is pretty brutal today, huh? My goodness. Ooh. Attempted a pallet save, but no luck. Yeah, killers are not showing any mercy today. Which I guess, why should they? But now I'm apprehensive about rescuing the girl, I guess if... Man, I can't see a fucking thing. I hate, I hate Nightfall. <laughs> On a map like this, it's so annoying. He's gonna camp around until she's dead. Yeah, what to do, huh? That's tough. Oh. Nope. Yeah, go lost her go. She let herself die, no! Oh man. Okay, now everything falls apart. The mag was having absolutely none of it. You are kidding. That could have been it. What a shame. Yeah, just like that, I think this match is fucked now, to be honest. Maybe I'm being too, like, you know, maybe I'm not believing enough, but tough, 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 tough. How many killers have we had that just tunneled, like, right off the bat? Like, five gens? This must be, like, our third tonight or something. Brutal, dare I say. Oh, that girl's having none of it, too? Okay, GG. <laughs> All right, Luxor. Go with God, my friend. <laughs> that girl's surely gonna let herself die. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I have no idea. Hey. <gasps> Martin, welcome on in. How are you, my friend? How is it going? Is that girl... Nah, yeah, she's gonna let herself die. Wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, he's so gonna try to be nearby, and hopefully he, like, goes away, you know? Or is this man gonna, like, freaking... <laughs> two people dead at three gens, he's gonna camp out the last hook still. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. But hey, let's see how it goes. Hey, Smita, thank you very much for the raid, my friend. Very appreciated. Welcome on in. How are you doing? This man knows exactly where I'm at and I'm gonna cry. Oh, okay, Luxor, uh, I will rescue you and then I'll proceed to die. I hope you're okay with that idea. Run! But if I uh, either Kobe off the hook or let myself die, that's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna pull that one off. No one's gonna see it coming. Thank you very much for the raid, Smita. Welcome on in. How are you doing? Welcome to a very sad match of DBD, but alas. Some of them simply be like that. Thank you very much for the raid. Hugely, hugely appreciated. How was your stream? Is DBD treating you any better than it is treating us? Because we are having some pretty... Some killers who are pretty, pretty brutal. Not gonna lie. Which, you know, hey. Can't blame them too much for, for playing to win, right? But goddamn. Zero mercy is being shown sometimes. The, I think this is the third one who's, uh, like, tunneling at five gens. Which is rough. But alas. I mean, to be fair... This map is horrendous, right? So maybe if the dredge doesn't want to uh, deal with it, then I guess I can sort of understand it. Uh, okay. Wow. Thank you for- What did he do there? Did he teleport and then go around and I didn't see him? Whoopsie daisies. <laughs> Isn't that a bit of a shame? Also, everyone, check out Smita. Fantastic, lovely, wonderful streamer. You will not regret it if you want to see a survivor who's much better than me. If you're sick of seeing this nonsense happening, which is me getting annihilated over and over, check out Smita Frida. Much more skilled than I am. <laughs> Let me go back and read back. Oh no, the comments. Thank you very much, River Woodland, for the follow. Hugely, hugely appreciated. Welcome and hope you enjoyed the emotes and the stream. Hello, Lumi. Welcome in. How are you doing, my friend? Hello, Mako. What else have we got? And Immaculate. Welcome one in as well, my friend. And Iden. And Les. Got the whole whole gang's here. Welcome one in, friends. Smita loves tunneling. Listen. It's, uh, what do you call it? Guilty pleasure, right? 
sometimes, you know, there... I hope none of you will be disappointed in me, but I sometimes will indulge in a little bit of tunneling myself. Not often. But sometimes. <laughs> Gaming chair, yeah, we Les, we've we've been defeated there definitely because of the gaming chair, a hundred percent. We didn't even get to see the perks that the man had because he, he didn't really need them. Eruption brutal, scourge, and overcharge. <laughs> Come on, man, you you can't tunnel at five gens and then camp every single hook and then say GG easy at the end game. Come on, man. You gotta be a little bit more, you know. Maybe he's memeing though, who knows, right? Who the fuck knows? It's it's hard to tell the intention before the message. But come on. If you're gonna like you know, use the, the, the crutch play style, at least just throw a GG at the end game and then move on. <laughs> Thanks for the SIGO again, really appreciate it. Of course, Mito, you deserve it, my friend. You are genuinely like S tier streamer. I genuinely believe that you you deserve all the shout outs from all the people. Smita kidnapped me and I'm here. Hello, I am sorry, my friend. <laughs> he has he has left you with the uh, subpar streaming experience. But hey, in the very least, we had fun. Is all I can say. I like I like how Smita replied to you with the ghost face emotes, which are fantastic, by the way. Love those emotes. That's another thing that Smita has that are incredible. His emotes, ten out of ten. Connects together. Absolutely immaculate. Anybody who wants to join us, as always, feel free to join us. You got Mori, though. That's a good thing. That's very true, Smita. If you're, you know, glass half full kind of mentality, we go ahead and uh, think on the fact that we just didn't get thrown into a boreal hook. We actually got, you know, to see the fancy little Mori animation from our, our fancy new friend, the Dredge. Pretty good stuff. Broken feels. I'm sorry, Martin. <laughs> that was pretty sad indeed. I like this emote. It's super cute, right, River? I got those uh, got those bad boys for like a dollar a piece over on Etsy, so I am not the only streamer who has them. But despite that, they're still really cute. I think we could have gotten a three-man escape there if that girl didn't give up the page. I think so too, Luxor. Because like that's the thing, right? Like it, it sucks getting tunneled and stuff like that, but like once you realize it and you kind of start playing around that, and you like, you know, go super goblin mode on gens, and that girl either just hangs on for as long as she can, or somebody gets the rescue, and then you try to like split up and stuff. I think we could have gotten, yeah. I don't know like necessarily even like three people, but like, I think two. Two escapes there would have been pretty doable, you know? But with the, both of the, the people just like giving up immediately, which I guess I don't blame them too much for, but that is a, that is a bit of a shame. Then it, it fell apart pretty quickly. Mm -mm -mm. Wink, wink. What are we winking about, Lumi? What happened? Tell me all the secrets. Did mm. you? How was the tunnel? Did <laughs> you well played, Speeda? <laughs> I, I know. I know. The the way I know that that statement is not true is because of the fact that the guy said "GG easy boss" or whatever. I feel like Smita is way too nice to ever say anything like that. If anything, anything even remotely close. He's not Mimi, he only had minus rep on his account. I did get my last flash, he saved those, so good stuff. Yeah, that, I mean, you never know when it's a troll though, right? Like, who knows? Like, cause I will say people take getting tunnel and stuff like that way too seriously, right? And people who have kind of like a troll mindset or whatever you'd call it. Like this game is the perfect platform to make people angry, you know what I'm saying? If you're the kind of person who enjoys like, you know, making like comments that are like really dumb on purpose to get people worked up, this game is perfect because you can, you know, face camp and tunnel every single game and the amount of people you're going to be able to make angry is just like phenomenal, right? So I'm sure maybe he does that shit every time, but like how serious is he and how much does he mean it, you know? Or maybe he's he knows that he's playing in a you know, like, dirty way, I guess you could say. And he knows that calling GG easy, specifically after playing like that, would get people upset. So maybe he's doing it, uh... on purpose, I guess you could say it. But hey. If, if you're a troll, boy oh boy, do I have the game for you. Is it, uh... I see somebody in the corn locks are kind of, like, right ahead of me. 
If you use my forehead as a laser. Oh, it's a blight. Oh, uh, that's really bad for him. This map is... This map is really poopy, man. There's very little for blight to uh, bounce off of. But I, I guess I shouldn't say that just yet, you know? I think he's going to expect me to come back here, right? Maybe not. All right. Are you going to get your perks at year 3? Kind of painful to see them like this. I don't know, Gucci. Because, like, right now, I'm trying to get Freddy to tier 3. Prestige 3. So then we're going to have every single killer in the game. So I will be doing that first. And once we're done with that, I think we can go ahead and uh, and upgrade James. Yeah. And try to get every single perk to tier 3. Because I will agree with you that it's, kinda, it's very... It, it takes away from the satisfaction factor. Flat. Oh, goodness. Flack. Can I call you Flack? Because I am, my brain is too stupid and slow to read that name. I'm very sorry. Or at least at, at the moment while the game is going on. But thank you very much for the follow, Flack. Hugely appreciated. And if you got, you know, if, if Flack is totally incorrect and there's a, a name that you would like me to call you, then, you know, by all means, just drop it in chat. And I'll be happy to correct myself. But yeah, Gucci, uh, I will say there's zero satisfaction in seeing all these perks like this. That being said, I bet you that if I, if I did, like... Purple sprint burst on the top, and then on either side green, and then yellow at the bottom. That could be a little bit less unpleasant. Let's wait for him to be inside, and then we can rescue. Cool. Now you run, my friend. I'm gonna try to. Oh, sprint burst didn't work. <laughs> I wanted to like break 90 degrees with sprint burst, and kind of force him to come to me, but that did not work in the slightest. And now does he bounce off that chest and get me? I don't know. Holy fuck! That was lucky. Break that. We have, we've got some stuff to work with. We got some things. I have to pre-drop that. I'm so sorry. Uh, fuck. Dude, I do, I'm not... I refuse. I will die before I pre-drop God Pallet. Oh! <laughs> I refuse to do that. Because I've already, like, given up two really good pallets. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. That was close. Shame. You must have been bloodlusted to hell on back there. Mm. Not for now, but good luck with the games. Need to shower. It's so hot in here. Oh, I get you, Smita. Thank you very much for the raid once again, my friend. Hope you have a good shower. I will see you around. Have a good one. And I'm very sorry that you are dealing with a heat wave. Because I have a friend in the Netherlands. Uh, our friend Angel. And she's been talking about how uh, warm it's been there. And man, oh man, what an absolute nightmare. I, ironically, come from Brazil. Cannot stand the heat. Not even a little bit, dude. Not in the slightest. I hate it with all my soul. I'm way more of a cold guy. And hearing people talk about how, yeah, oh yeah, it's, you know, it's 43 degrees. It's 38 degrees. It's 40, 35, whatever. I'm like, oh my God. I'm so, so, so lucky to live in North Sweden where the, the warmest that it's been all summer was like 20 something, man. Like 23, 24. That's the worst uh, I've seen. So I am thanking my lucky stars every single day because the weather here has been wonderful. Like it's even been like, you know, that kind of like rainy, sort of like chilly, sort of like, you know, by like 18, 19 degrees, 18, 19 degrees average, which I, which I think, you know, for a summer, that's perfect. As somebody who likes the cold, if it sticks around around that temperature, oh, thank, thank the Lord, man. Fuck the heat. <laughs> Such are the emos, the ones I have so far anyways. Thank you so much, Sophie. I'll definitely take a look at them. Thank you, thank you very, very much. Once again. Hi. Lumi? Uh-oh. Do you wanna do you wanna uh flirt with Lumi with a new haircut? Show her how pretty you are. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. You've you distracted me. She's got a, a nice new haircut, Lumi. She's very pretty. Not that she wasn't before, but you get what I mean. Wow. Shut up. Do, do, you, do your girlfriends do that where like you they, they will like twist your word? I messed up here, big time. Like, they'll, they'll twist your words, right? But not only will they do that, they will twist your words for, like, three years to come. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'll say something like, not that you weren't before, and she's gonna be like, wow. And, you know, I know she's not serious. I know she's, she's joking. But you know that I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm gonna be hearing about this for the next, like, three years. Like, well, that one time you said I wasn't pretty. It's like, it's not what I said, goddammit. What are my preferred pronouns, Jack? Just the boring ones. Just the boring basic guys. 
wife never twists my words right so if it, because you guys have like a cult going on where the you know where you're all like bffs for ever and ever and you all love each other unconditionally meanwhile i just get bullied <laughs> if this man wants to tunnel me i wouldn't even blame him dude oh lord because we're doing really good he's only got three hooks the saving grace for him there is the fact that i will be mega dead if he catches me but he's playing pretty nice so thank you mr blight um they're not enough to come in with the hard uniqueness uh oh i love those emotes too smear little cats hell yeah go shower stinky i see lumi also hang on i'm very sketched out i think we just run this way yeah lumi calls me to stinky so mm. that's something else that you guys have in common yes. not that you call uh smita stinky but you call me stinky <laughs> and jack i suppose all right, bye-bye, Speed. I have a go, my friend. Do you want to be warm? I want to be cold and then made warm with a blanket? Yes, Lumi. That's the thing. Absolutely. 100%. Like, I feel like there's just not a lot that's redeemable about the heat, right? Because, like, it's 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 more complicated to deal with, I feel like, the heat, you know? Because you have to get a fan. If it's too warm, then a fan doesn't work. Or you have to get, like, an air conditioner, but an air conditioner is really expensive and it, you know, cracks up your electricity bill. And then if you're gonna have a an eight air conditioner on 24/7, then be ready. You're just eating pizza salad. <laughs> no, thank you. Eat it. Not right now, but I shall soon. But yeah, like, and then you know, if you're gonna have the air conditioner be on 24/7, then it's gonna be okay. Have fun paying freaking 50 euro extra every single month on your electricity bill. And then it's like. It probably would be way more than that, actually, if it's 24-7, but you get what I mean, right? And then, you know, if it's really warm and you want to go outside, then you there's no way of really fixing that easily. Because you could... Aw, oh, that hurts. At least he doesn't have that mint switch. But it's like you, you, you can take off as many clothes as the wall will allow you to, right? And even then... Ooh, here he comes. For the gen, baby! Okay, that gives Immaculate the opportunity to rescue. He does. Nice. Very good. Very good. Which is being chased in. Not that on hook. That's excellent. Eh? Uh. Yes. Nice. We're doing pretty good. But it can't fall apart pretty badly, though. But yeah, and then, you know, you, you take as many clothes as the law will allow you to. And it's still no... Uh, still doesn't fix it, right? Wow, the cold is just like a lot more straightforward, you know? Like, heaters are cheaper to run, cheaper to buy, easier to come across, easier to install. You don't gotta like, you know, break down walls and, and stuff. Oh my god, he didn't get stunned there. Uh, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do? Well, lose Chase because he's not gonna come for me somehow. Bless. Now he's doing really good though. I have one, one gen to go and he's got three people that are hook. He has turned around this game very efficiently, so props to him. And dare I say, like Lumi saying, like warming yourself up is way more satisfying. It's always Luxor getting tunneled, man. Every time. Poor guy. I feel so bad. But every but yeah, uh, warming yourself up feels a lot more satisfying than cooling yourself down, right? Like if you're out in the cold and you go somewhere that's hot, it's just like instant, wonderful, amazing relief. If you're somewhere that's hot, and you go somewhere that's cool, it's nowhere near as uh, as quick. Like, you do get the relief, but it's, you know, you're still, like, sweaty and gross and feeling like shit, and it takes time for your body to cool down and stuff. Not to mention that, you know, if you have to walk somewhere and it's cold, like, one, you can prepare yourself, right, by having, like, all these clothes and stuff. And then, once you get to your destination, the cold is no longer a problem. While, oh my god, this man has no terror ears, dude. Aha! <laughs> that did not work anywhere near as well as I hoped it would. What a shame. But yeah, but then if it's warm and then you walk around, then you're going to be like sweaty and gross, right? And then even once you get to your destination, the fact that you're sweaty and gross is still going to be a problem. It's just going to ruin the, the rest of your the rest of your day and all. Mm -hmm. 
If a human being could be considered a work of art, Glowy would surely be the most beautiful art to ever grace this planet. Damn, Lumi, that is smooth. Let me delete that message now. <laughs> can't catch Lu can't, can't can't catch my girlfriend saying that. She's gonna leave my ass, bro. I can't I can craft words that smoothly. You had a glyph there? Oh yeah, Gucci. I think I ran past like a few glyphs. But I, I was prioritizing trying to, you know, win, I guess. <laughs> but sadly, it did not pan out, so I guess I might as well have gone for the glyphs. But I think I saw one at like the LT wall, right? And then one in Shack or something. We did run across a, a couple of them. If you're coming to Midas in January, I will join in bullying you. I fully expect you to. Fret not, if I uh, ever meet you guys RL, I fully expect that, you know, a little bit of bullying will be part of the experience. Freaking Immaculate is going though. You have another glyph where you hooked earlier? Yes, sir. Well, a little bit too late now. But <laughs> to be fair, you did write that message a lot earlier while I was still alive. It just took me a while to get there. It's an off hook. Whoop, whoop. Yes, sir, Luxor. It happens a lot to you, and I do feel bad. It's, it's amazing, because I, I feel like I get tunneled, you know, somewhat often. But it's like, it feels like it's extra with Luxor. I even have like a, there's a VOD, the title of which is Another Day of Luxor Getting Tunneled. And yet again, this is like the second or third time tonight that Luxor got tunneled. While I think I, I think I got tunneled like either once or zero times. Even though we had a lot of killers tunneling, I was, I don't think I've, I think I've only been the victim once, if at all. Maybe I haven't been the victim at, at all today, so. Poor Luxor, indeed. Rando stopped working on gen, so we had to too little gen progress. Yeah, sadly. I mean, at this, at this point, I think we're kind of like checked out, right? I think we're not even like trying so much anymore, which I suppose I'm not gonna, you know, <laughs> complain too much about. <laughs> but we had a gift where you died and didn't get the chance to read Sag. Yeah. I was, I was just trying to like get that gen done, but that's fine, you know. We're not, we're no like big rush to get like blood points or complete the, the, the challenges or anything, you know. Like we have, I think the next one is coming out in about like two weeks or something, so I'm sure we're going to be running out of challenges before the other one comes out, anyways. And then we're gonna have to be you know digging through the old ones. It's not too big of a deal. We'll, we'll be fine. She realize eventually that she she should leave you for me. I think she already does, Lumi. But the question is how, you know, how logistically possible is that, right? Because then she's going to have to, is the the US going to kick her out once she, she comes over? <laughs> I hate Blight. Yeah, Giovanna. It, it can be rough. I mean, this Blight played really fair, to be honest. Like, he had the opportunity to, to tunnel a couple people, like, early on, and, and she chose he chose not to. Eventually, he did cho he did tunnel Loxor, but, you know, uh, to be fair, it like it's Loxor's destiny, right? I think it's just like higher intervention. It's like a, you know, like God himself is reaching down and grabbing this man's hand on the mouse, right? And he's just like finding himself like against his will going after Loxor. And the killer's like, what's happening? I don't want to tunnel this guy. But then, you know, the Lord is making him do it because it's just destiny. It's just written in the book <laughs> of time that Loxor must be the one to get tunneled at every opportunity. <laughs> Uh, also, welcome on in, Giovanna. But Giovanna, uh, I hope you had a good time. Oh, nice. Hell yeah, catch. I hope you had a good time playing the piano, my friend. I want to buy a keyboard. I don't have the space for the piano. I definitely don't have the money for a piano. So I want to get like, you know, a digital keyboard. And I've been looking around, right? At good sort of like beginner kind of stuff, but that's not like too cheap. That's still like, you know, the, basically like the cheapest like decent keyboard that you can get for the money. And my research has taken me to the to Roland FP10. Do you have any recommendation when it comes to that? Because I know that you're a piano player, so I have no idea if you know the first thing about, you know, I'm sure you know the in, in theory and whatnot, but if you know like which keyboards, like digital keyboards are good and stuff. Bump. So do you have an opinion on the Roland FP10? Because that's the one that uh, upon my research seems to be like, a decent, decent one, you know, and you're still, you're not going to be spending like a million bucks. Need a survivor out of the game though, and the one that unhooked me was healthy. That hadn't been unhooked yet. For sure, Luxor. It's that kind of situation, right? He had plenty of opportunities to tunnel early on, and he chose not to. So I, you know, I don't really blame him for from when the game was like kind of falling apart for him, for him to do that. At least I am un untiltable. Better to get tunnel than somebody tiltable. That is very true, yeah. Better you than, uh... 
the, the girl from the game last uh, match where she just killed himself on hook immediately. Get out of here. I mean, get out of here. Okay. All right, Lumi. Uh, get your get your breath mints. You know, get get your hair done. Put on your 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 cutest uh, smile because my girlfriend's about to talk to you. Well, my my soon to be ex girlfriend because she's gonna leave me for you. Don't but yeah. Say that. No, I'll say that. GG Blight, thank you very much for showing up. You played amazing. Great job. Uh, I'll be right with you. My girlfriend needs to flirt with somebody in chat though, so be right back. Can I have the chair? No. I don't. I need you're gonna you're gonna flirt with Lumi. You lean down. Goddamn it. Hi, Lumi. Hello, Blight. What's up? Hi, Lumi. Is that all you have to say? <laughs> Hi, Lumi. <laughs> I don't know, or she loves the haircut. Thank you. I love the haircut too. I think it looks very cute. That was a good match. Apologies if anything was tunnel-ish. Your Nia was good. Wish I could slide better. No worries, man. I th I feel that, Blight, you had plenty of opportunities to tunnel and you chose not to, you know? You only tunneled right at the end because, you know, I mean, the match was falling apart for you, so I don't blame you at all. I think that's, like, totally understandable. So, no worries, my friend. I think, I think you played super well because it is a bad map for Blight, man. That map, that map sucks. I mean, it sucks for a lot of killers, but particularly for Blight, because there's like very little that you can bounce off of. You have, you know, all these like dead zones that are just corn, right? So I, uh, I think you did really, really, really good, given the fact that the map was total ass. Who's that? Doctor. He's over by, he's going to big blast. Rip. That's okay, though. <laughs> we'll handle it. But thank you very much. Wait, hang on. What's uh, Secundus? Thank you very much, Secundus, for. Uh oh, time to go. Checking out the stream. Very, very appreciated, my friend. GG once again. And uh, I should say, if you'd like to give us a follow, we're here every single day. If you'd like to play with us, we let chat join. I say I, I lied. We're not here every single day. We're here almost every single day. We're working to getting back to being here every single day. But I, I it would be a lie. I, I, I'm probably streaming like four, five, six times a week nowadays. But hey, making progress, eh? And uh, yeah, and if you would like to play with us, feel free. We let chat join. It's a good fun time. And when we play killer, which is actually most of the time, we let chat decide a killer. We have all them unlocked. Ooh, very fun. Very cool. <clears throat> Normally wouldn't be, would do that, but the clicky stressed me out. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you, my friend. Good luck, have fun next match. You too. Have a good one. Plenty of kills, plenty of bleh, plenty of success, all that good stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Luxor has gone down, but that was a pretty good uh, time, duh, of pretty good amount of time for him to get chased. Because that gen and the gallows is about to be done. Then we are most of the way done with this guy over here. So this is hopefully going to be two gens done. Oh, Hunter's Lullaby. Okay, that's good that you pointed that out, Luxor. Because I guess we know we know where that's at. Man, these nine these 90 second generators hit hard though, huh? The amount of time that this is taking. Please, I beg you, dude. Uh. We finished this. We finished this. We finished this. I let go! What the f uh! It's fine. It's good. I specifically saw this man coming, and I feel like I let go of the button, and then he just freaking teleported it to me. And now, uh, sadness. And I thought we were gonna have two gens done, <laughs> and we have zero. <laughs> oh no. Got play thing too. It's gonna be a please destroy my totems build. I imagine so, right, Luxor? So definitely a uh, good old what's that called? Good old uh, Pentimento incoming. Yeah, for sure. Okay, that's that one done. Time to go. Uh, I'm gonna get tunneled. I'm a freaking idiot. Why did I do that? Help! Help! <laughs> Help! Oh my god, no way! Thank you very much, Immaculate. That was a... Uh, I should not be alive right now. I ran right into him. I should have checked if I had BT first. That was super stupid. Oh my god, plaything! Oh, I got here, here, though. Yeah, I mean, I lived for longer than I should have, to be honest with you. 
How unfortunate that we can we can finish neither of these gens though. We got so close. Typical log store. What do you mean? He hasn't gotten tunneled yet, you know. Once once log store gets tunneled, completely out of his control, then you can be like, yeah, typical log store. <laughs> What? I guess I didn't tab in quick enough, huh? Dude, that gen- what the fuck? I feel like that gen must have- yeah, I guess he must have kicked it with something. They regressed by so much. Oh lord, hello doctor. Time to go. <laughs> Sir, please, we've done no gens, you don't have to tunnel me. Okay, it's not typical Luxor anymore. <gasps> the, dude, this turn gets me every time. Alright, fellas, don't mind me. Just gonna get murdered if I've changed. <laughs> that one turn, every single time, I mess it up. Quite literally. I wish I was exaggerating, but I'm afraid I'm not. It's pretty much every time. I just absolutely eat shit. <laughs> oh, what a shame. That being said, though... I think we're gonna take the opportunity to go and do some killer. It's been two and a half hours of a uh, survivor. That's just pretty good, right? Pretty good amount. Bob up. And let's see, can we get one gen done? Fuck yeah, one gen done. <laughs> Great work. Yeah, we can uh, go ahead and dip out of this one. Luxor, you can, you can tell me all the secrets. Tell me everything that's happened. We can... Uh, Wonder why our green screen is being flickery. That doesn't make sense. The lighting should be good. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to figure that out later. But let's hop onto some survivor matches. Sorry, killer matches. Best of luck, Luxor, my friend. I believe in you. You got this. And do let me know what what has happened. Once it's all, uh, once it's finished, let's try to get Freddy. If we we're really smart, we would actually because they're gonna change. They're gonna make everything cheaper. If we wanted to be really smart, we actually wouldn't even be uh, spending any blood points right now. It would wait for the update. But I sort of want to get Fred just a tier 2 and then I'm going to like start saving up and I'm not going to spend any BP until the update comes and then everything's cheaper. That way we're going to, you know, if they make everything 30% cheaper or whatever, we're effectively going to be gaining 30% more blood points. Nice. But we're right around the corner, getting him to Prestige 2, so we might as well make that final little push, A. And after that, we're going to be yeah, just saving up. Here, for sure. He's, uh... His blood webs have been really good. In terms of uh, allowing me to, like, block out a lot of stuff and get to the next level without spending a whole lot. Very, very good. So now we have every single killer to Prestige 3. Including, yeah, Freddy is the only one that we're missing. Just need one more prestige for him. Hopefully we're going to have enough when Wesker comes out to just get him to uh, prestige 3 right away. But I guess before we do that, we're going to make sure that uh, Wesker is prestige 15. And before that, we shall be taking our big boy Oni out for a spin for the sake of uh, the daily, which is to murder two people. As the Oni. So this season is my first game. And the kill didn't even let me hook my friend. What a sad person. I mean, to be fair, Gucci, I don't feel like the you know, I don't feel like because the killer is, you know, because two people like de Jesus Christ, because two people DC'd, which is, you know, completely outside the killer's control, I don't necessarily feel that they owe you like an unhook, right? Just because, like, maybe they're like, ah, crap, this sucks, you know, and they just want to, like, get onto the next match as quickly as possible. So they just want to kill everybody and then get onto a proper match. Maybe they have a very limited limited time to play DBD. Who knows, right? So I don't, f you know, I, I wouldn't hold it against them, like, too much. Just because, like, to be fair, it's not the killer's fault that your teammates disconnected, right? And if you have to be, like, angry at anybody, I think you should be angry at the people who disconnected. Because I guess they're the ones who put you in that situation, right? Give me the unhooks, at least I wouldn't mind. No, yeah, but I don't I don't feel like it's fair to expect that, you know what I'm saying? Like the killer, the killer didn't make them DC. Like they DC'd on the, on their own. And now the killer is like placed or placed on this situation 
where maybe they just think it's really boring to like farm hooks and farm stuff you know they just want to like get onto the next match as quick as possible which i totally understand so i don't feel like it's fair to, to be like ah oh, you know like uh he he should let me unhook or, or whatever <clears throat> it's not fair for us either because of them no exactly there you go I, I feel like you hit the you hit the nail on the head right it's not fair for us because of them you know be them being the two people that they seed. So I think it's totally fair for you to be annoyed in that situation, right? Because it is annoying. However, I think you should definitely be annoyed at the people who deceive and not at the killer for letting you not unhook, you know? Because it's the fault of the people who deceive that you're in that situation in the first place. You know what I mean? Because I totally get you being like annoyed because it's it's it, it sucks, you know? Like waiting the queue and then getting together and then blah, 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 and then getting in a match and then immediately everything goes to shit because people DC. It sucks. But it's, you know, not really the killer's fault. So I think if you if you must be angry at somebody, definitely uh, be do so against the survivors. <laughs> Bi bias killer main talking by the way. <laughs> Exchanging some hooks wouldn't take more than two minutes. Sure, Gucci, but you know maybe they don't like it. You know, like it's it's just like you can't feel entitled to someone else's time like that. Maybe they don't like it. You know, if how des despite like however long it takes, maybe just they just think it's boring. Maybe they just want to. Uh, get onto the next match and if that's the case and you know totally fair like I said you know it's it's the fault of the two people who disconnected so why should the killer like you know be like oh I have to play nice now like nah fuck that they're the ones who disconnected you know if the killer just wants to move on to the next match and play a normal game then hey not wrong with that uh I suspect if they didn't spawn here they must be like all the way over on that side right there's a I feel like this map is kind of weird though like, th this entire section of the map feels really barren in terms of where the gens are, which is really good for me. But it feels like all of the generators are really, like, concentrated on that side of the map. Which can be, like, really good. I'm gonna pretend that it's here. She's got a thing, though, right? right? Like, sprint burst? Yeah. That being said... Oh, I'm gonna cry. No, dude, I still don't make it. That's so upsetting. I did not. I guess I uh, underestimated the power of the sprint burst. I'm honestly not even gonna worry about that generator on that building, on the main building, just because it's so like far away from everything else. I'll prioritize everything here instead. Uh, give me pallet. Give me pallet. Give me pallet. Yes, very good. Bell pals all the way. Now... Yeah, let's uh, try to protect these gens over here. Ooh, sadly for me... Yeah, I'm not... I'll... This is actually quite unfortunate. Wish my hitbox wasn't so fat. Bless. Okay, that's pretty good. KQ. Go over here. Then, yeah, cool. Maybe dropping chase like that wasn't the smartest idea on the planet. This is one of those matches that's like really tough against Feroni because like I just don't have a power. And these guys are just like kind of you know like using the pallets really effectively, but thankfully she messed up there. What to do here? I'm really not interested in defending that generator, honest to God. I'm really, really not. Yeah, I see. What I should go for? Definitely rather go for you. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that was spicy, man. Oh, that was really good. I saw, I saw like a little, the tiniest crack of her. Okay, cool. Please don't screw me over with Boil Over, man. For the love of God. Bit of a slow start for us. But that's okay. Killer kept tunneling and started to camp as well. Gotta love it. Oof. Sorry, Luxor. Rough indeed, huh? So I, I guess I wasn't the only tunnel victim there. But alas, it happens. Good old, uh, you know, DVD lol. My <laughs> nose got hatched because I sacrificed myself for her, though. Nice. That's good. Little, you know, silver lining and all that. Happy to hear that in the very least. Uh, I saw her up here. I guess I might as well call this, or call this, kick this with Colobrine. 
and then whether or not we... Okay, there she is. Cool. They're taking a hot second to get that rescue, though. I wonder if I can... Yeah, there we go. I should be able to well, get here and then get a hit, at least. Nice. Yeah, they took their time. Let's see, though. Uh, hmm. Oh, I didn't realize this window was there like that. I messed that up. This is gonna be close. Dude, what am I getting stuck on, please? Bless, man. If I didn't get that down there because I got stuck on some invisible force of nature, I would have been so sad. Uh, this is gonna be tough, though, if they have, like, a crazy toolbox or multiple people. I maybe don't get this, but if I do, it's gonna be huge. Did I- am I stupid? Am I stupid? Am I stupid? Am I stupid? Oh my god, thank the lord! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Kick this. I don't know that I should've kicked- or, or, or hit her, to be honest. Okay, that's not regressing. Go here. Around. Damn it, I didn't hold it fast enough. And now I didn't- what the fuck? Did you guys see that? I feel like that was definitely close enough to... she's at least pre-dropping everything, which is good. Maybe... yeah, they're probably gonna touch the generate. What a dead hard man! Good fucking job! Great timing on that. She went inside, I think we're gonna go back to that gen. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Alright. Could have been better, but not terrible. Our build is gonna come in mega clutch when it comes to regressing these gens. Come on. Nice. Gotta worry about that one now too. Sadly, we do not have enough blood as well. Yeah, this is not enough. I, I should have just gone it for that gen, to be honest with you. This is not enough to, to be worth. Cause like even without pop goes a weasel, I can still damage that generator a fair bit with uh Ooh, and I let it go. That was stupid of me. Please give me my power, man. I'm so close. There's blood everywhere though. I guess everybody being injured, uh, right? Huh. Yeah, I am stupid. I'm really dumb. There was no reason for me to worry so much about getting my power. Given the fact that everybody's injured. I'm sort of camping this girl, which I don't mean to, but like... They're not really giving me a reason not to. They're not really pressuring the gens and stuff. Nice. They're healing now. Okay, this gens got a good chunk of progress, that's the one we go for. Lot of blood over here, worth coming back to later. She's in your 3 gen? Yeah, this is definitely the 3 gen right here, right? 1, 2, 3. I think it was a little bit silly of us to focus on that as much as we did, to be honest with you. I think the play here, though, is not to worry about anybody who, like, goes too far away like that. Protect this 3 gen, and I think we're, we're golden. I wish it was easier for me to get an angle on this one, though. Still regressing. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. And the amount of blood that these people are going to be, like, dropping is also going to be pretty nice. Uh, somebody's injured over here, right? Yeah. Uh, man, this sucks. These guys are playing so safe. I do not think that I... Can't afford to, you know. Okay. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. There's two people there. I am in a great deal of trouble. Yeah, this sucks. This sucks. This sucks. This sucks. Go, 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 go. Don't tell me that I don't have my power, man. The, not the bug. Not like. Okay. Great. <laughs> It was approved that itself when they got together. Well done. How unfortunate. I should have just like goblined up on that gen, man. That was or the, on the three gen. That was really dumb. 
I have made uh, questionable decisions big time there. That was super silly. Oh well. Protect your 3-gen. I really should have Luxor. I got. I don't know. I, I, I guess I thought they didn't have as much progress as it turned out that they did. It was silly indeed. I wonder if we can camp this girl and then maybe get away with another kill though. Because what we need for the daily is two sacrifices. Uh-oh. 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 <gasps> we have no way out. I forgot. <laughs> Guess let's try to yeah camp this girl out. Then just try to get somebody else. You know, out is actually gonna come in massively clutch for us here. If only the I have so much blood on so many spots, but they're all like out of the way though, sadly. So we're gonna have to go powerless. Uh, I did not make any progress in this building though. Thankfully, this first hit is pretty free. So if I can get two sacrifices here, I'll be happy just because of the daily. I think she pre-drops this and then jumps down. Oh, never mind. Ooh, nice. She's playing really good. I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate this loop, man. It's so, so safe. I feel like this, this, these barrels are so long for no reason. Alright, cool. The very least, we have the perfect spot to, to place you, though. Mm. Mm, boil over. We can take a little shortcut. Nice. First hook for you. I would love get my power. Oh, cool. Camp the top of the stairs. <laughs> Be a bastard. Oh, just gotta make sure I got these two kills, though. I accidentally used my power. It's control to use my power. And I press control 2, which is the binding that changes my overlay. Or the scene that I'm in, rather. And I just use my power like an absolute fool. Hopefully it lasts long enough that this girl just dies. I think she's letting herself die on hook, so we probably will, right? Yeah, bless. Cool. <laughs> Oh, what a silly thing. We got, like, it, it bugged out, too. Like, the earlier, we tried to use our power and the game wouldn't let us. So, a bit of a shame that, you know, we got the bug then, but not now. Also, we got a look of the inside of Oni's skull there for a second. We got our daily, so I'm I'm alright with that. I think we only got one glyph, though. If only we had maybe gone for another one. But hey, can't have everything. Whoops. Can't have everything. And they played really good. If I, like, I think Luxor, you're, you're totally right. If I had just gone, if I had just gone for that, uh, if I just protected that 3-gen, my life would have been a whole lot easier. That was a fuck up and a half, but that's okay. It happens. Mm. Yeah, she had a flip-flop boil over. Big place. Little Sabo thing as well? Yeah. Cool. And now, would anybody like to request a killer, fellas? If nobody wants to. I can go ahead. There I say, mayhaps play a match of the, the Drage. What do you fellas think? That sounds pretty good, just for the sake of the uh, the achievement, the prog pro pro progress, the progress for which we are at. Uh, let's take a look. Twenty nine out of fifty, so we're more than halfway there. Not bad at all. Not bad in the slightest. So we can play a. Play that, yeah. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Yes. Here we go. I'm a little bit spooked by this gang here because we have an, an elf Dwight. And we have... A pajama Jake with a mustache. So these guys have what you would call meme outfits. And what do we know about people who run meme outfits? They tend to be very, very good. So I'm not going to lie, fellas. I'm a little bit sketched out. A little bit scared. Kind of wondering what's going to happen here. And they've sent me to RPD. What a sad, sad day it is for us. Damn, son. I guess you can be happy that RPD is getting reworked a little bit. But then again, is Reg any good in here? I guess that's something that we're going to have to find out. I don't feel like he would necessarily be, right? I think the issues of RPD... Issues with RPD, I don't think uh, would be fixed too well by the dredge, because there's not really a whole lot of, uh, you know, like the, it's most like god pallets and stuff, right? And the map being really big, which I guess uh, the teleport's gonna help out a little bit with that, but the tele, but the, uh, well, I guess the walker teleports, but the, the remnant teleports or whatever those are called. That wouldn't help out so much with the the loops in this map. Okay, we should be afraid though. I can tell you that much. Meme outfits and an RPD offering. These guys are up to no good. We should be very afraid. I hope you can convince me my friend to change his name. He followed you earlier. Oh crap, who was he? Was it, uh, was it Flack? Didn't have any luck so far. What's his, what's his name? I'm curious right now. Like, what what is his current name and what are you trying to get him to change it to? Hello, friend. <laughs> is he, like, working? <laughs> Am I interrupting this man's work schedule right now? Nice. I think the teleport saved us a bit of time there. Him, yes. Uh, I mean, I will say... Probably, uh... Ooh, hang on. Ooh, ooh, bloodlust, I think, saves us here. Yeah, it does. Nice. All right, these guys, hang on. Ah, uh, I think it's this fuckery again, right? But PHVR put a hook down here, or what? I think they did. Maybe they're trying to do that stuff. Let's see. No luck for them, though. Bless. Yeah, I will say it's it's a very complicated name, Gucci. <laughs> So I can I can understand why you're requesting that. Uh, we're gonna be slugging you, friend. I fucked up. <laughs> Did not think that through. Oh my god, I am a genius. I can see the future. I am the smartest man alive, bro. <laughs> Incredible. Okay, great. Uh, also, we we, ca we called out the shenanigans. It's exactly the two people that I talked about running boil over and then coming to uh, coming to library and stuff. Oops. I'll punish them a little bit for it and try to camp out this guy. Because I think if I can, you know, these guys have the potential of really hurting my feelings if I let them. Calculated them right. <laughs> I just keep him out to stage two. I won't keep him to death. Nice. Trying to punish them for their chicanery a little bit. Oh wow. They got there earlier than I expected. Ah man, that is so- wait! Oh no- what? what? Yeah, I hit the wrong guy. Wait, did I? I don't even know anymore, man. I can't see shit. <laughs> what is happening? I'm so confused. 
<laughs> I think these guys are not taking this video game seriously, it would seem. But yeah, I will, you know, I'll punish them for the mistakes that they allow me to, and yeah. I think we have to worry about like, uh, any flash or saves or anything, right? No. Cool. Uh, okay. Take that back, I think it's a uh, four man question mark. They're putting all their baskets into the Sabos kind of play style. Uh, which is risky. Very, very risky. What, what, what? Dude, did they change the way you face when you teleport as a dredge? I don't know anymore. I think they have uh, stuff for picking themselves up off the ground quickly too, huh? <laughs> what a god. Aw, oh, man. The almighty wizard, right on. <laughs> right on, friend. I think this guy is over here and he's... You're kidding. Uh, yeah, the player to go to be... Or would be to go for this dude who's dead. I mean, I guess uh, thank, we can be thankful that they're trying to, you know, get like saves and rescues and, and all that kind of jazz, as opposed to going for. Uh, tell you what, I can do. Oh, <laughs> good try, good try. I don't know if uh, picking him up is gonna work out for me though. I guess it's really going to depend on where they are. Go, 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 Yes, nice. Fantastic. Thank you for the clip, by the way, Gucci. Appreciate that. I should make for a good one. That's definitely going to be a highlight. That was funny. That helps out. That's going to make things easier for us, for sure. Because, you know, Mima just side. It can be pretty effective if they can, uh, you know, coordinate themselves correctly and stuff in a map like this. It can be pretty brutal, the shenanigans. So if we don't uh, do things correctly sort of right away, it can really come back to bite us in the ass. I am bad. <laughs> oh, hi. That hard? Wink. Uh, hook over here. I would imagine this is like an ex exponential and stuff, right? Usually that's what they have when they bring... When they try to go to this map. Uh, I think they're like, they, they're checked out. <laughs> Once their buddy died, I think they, uh, they've given up on the strategy and now they're just trying to play the game normally. Mm, nice, and that's that done. Can get like hella blood points, I think, for doing these. Let's can check on this generator. That guy let himself die. I wonder if it, I don't know which of them were together. Like, guys, I feel like I saw a bunch of them, like, uh, Sabo and stuff, so I'm... Oh, hi. I wonder if they're, like, they're all together, or... Or if it's just those two. Because initially I thought it was them, but now I'm... Uncertain. Nice, dude, what a god. He's gonna get the vault, too. Um, yep. Is it clever? <gasps> I could've uh, teleported. Balls. I guess it wouldn't have done me so good because it's blocked off anyways. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hello, friend. That is remarkable how that... Oh, and I uh, opened those or opened these up too. Nice. 
Du, 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 du. Fantastic. Yeah, I wonder if I should just like camp this guy or something. Because if I, uh... If I let him go, this is going to be the kind of gameplay where I'm going to have to... You know, chase people around RPD and shit. It's very possible, right? So I guess I'll just kind of sit here and... Ugh, call that a GG. It's because I don't want to be caught in a situation where everybody's hiding. <laughs> Jake Park, I get bitches. I love that outfit. Phenomenal. The glasses and the, the pajamas. Oh. Uh, absolute Chad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your friend. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, I think he totally got to rescue, right? Try and okay with. Damn. I think he was gonna get it too. Bonk. Alright, sir. Should we what? Give hatch? I mean, this is a flashbang gamer, right? So I, I feel like he he deserves some some respect. We'll, we'll, we'll let him get we'll, we'll give him hatch. Why not? Chips and crisps. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, oh, palata, copalata. I think this is copalata. Whatever the heck that is. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get the generator. Generator. Let's see if we can get the. Uh, the hatch for you, friend. Maybe a bit of a walk, though. Because I think uh, RPD is highly cursed. So it's also possible for the... Uh, also possible for the hatch to spawn upstairs. <laughs> so this may uh, take a hot second. If we get a... I'm absolutely going to down this man to make progress towards the achievement. Uh, what's up? Did you see it? Hang on. I need to... Uh, I just down you. Well, I'm in... What's it called again? Sorry. I need to down you while I'm in the night, night mode thing. I forget what the name is. If he wants to, like, farm pallets and stuff, I'm sorry, but that's gonna take too long, buddy. Just wanna get you your hatch and then be on my way. I'm gonna keep downing this man just for the achievement, though, as long as I'm in, in this one. Don't know what that means! A nightfall, there you go, that's what it's called. Should we try the upstairs? I feel like when it is upstairs, it's usually like here. No luck. How unfortunate, man. Come on. Where are you, Hatch? You make me regret being nice by being in the mystery place. Never to be found, ever. Guess this goes to show how fucking big this map is, huh? Yeah, you go look for it, buddy. Oh, here! You're kidding me. Okay, we know where it is. You know what? Close it, let him get the exit gate. That's gonna be faster, I reckon. Totems. Give them to me. Give them all to me. Uh, what? Is it in here? Dude, is it what, like outside? Must be, right? Yeah, okay. There was one here. Where else was it? Like up, up there? Pretty sure, right? Hmm. 
Like, I walk by here, I hear it, but... I'm curious as to where exactly it's at, to be honest with you. Oh, here? Cool. There was another one. Here somewhere. What was that, camping? GG? Uh, regulator that was just like RPD is a very, like, sort of like spooky map, you know? I say spooky, I mean like, you know, it's, it's a lot of spots to hide and stuff. And I just didn't want to end up in a situation where, you know, it's like both of you guys are alive. And it's just like hiding and stuff, and then, you know, it takes like 10 minutes to finish the match. Just because then, you know, it's, it's not like super fun to, to play, and it's not good for the rest of the viewers, yada yada, that kind of stuff, right? So I do apologize about it, but it was just, you know... Very specific map, very specific situation, right? I think I think it's best to just like make sure that uh, I don't end up in, in one of those because those are a bit unfortunate. But regulator, GG, well played. Thank you very much for checking out the stream. Very appreciated, my friend. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing good. And if you would like to pick a killer for us, we let chat decide. We have every single killer in the game unlocked, etc., etc., etc. Feel free to pick whoever you would like. If you like to pick one. Otherwise, uh, oh good. I'm sure we can com come up with some ourselves, if that's the case. And uh, yeah, what else? Uh, if you like to, f to follow us, we are here almost every day. Not quite every day. We used to be. But hey, thank you very much for the follow, my friend. Hugely appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the emotes. Hope you enjoy the stream. And uh, yeah, al almost every day. You we used to stream every day. Then we took a bit of a break. We're back. And now we stream five or six days a week. Which hey, it's it's pretty pretty good, right? Not bad at all, but we're, we're getting back up there. Oh, I still have to do this challenge, right? Okay. You have a valid reason, so that's fine. I appreciate it, my friend. Appreciate you being a good sport and understanding. But yeah, I'm not, you know... Usually, I won't, like, camp. Like, kind of camping, you know, if the survivors mess up and then they take too long to get the rescue and then you have to camp somebody for, like, you know, 10 seconds for them to go in stage 2. Sure, I'll do that, because that's just, like, you know... Fair enough. In that sense, right? But, uh, if, you know, just kind of, like, hooking somebody, then, like, camping them straight away, it's pretty rare for me to do that. Just because, I don't know, not so fun, is it? Unless we do. <laughs> it's been so long, though, but we, we have uh, Basement Bubba redeems for, like, 10,000 channel points or something like that. We allow once a day. And it, once upon a time, chat used to really, really enjoy it, but not so much these days, it seems. AK, welcome back. Also, uh, congratulations on the 100 followers, my friend. I don't know if you were there when I said it, but I think it took took me a second to get to the message. But congrats on 100. Very excited for you. And are you going to do anything to celebrate? That's a good question. You have a 67-hour uh, stream incoming. <laughs> I did a... When I got to 500, I did a 12-hour one. It was quite fun. And by, you know, by the time I got to like 1,000... I'll probably do another 12-hour uh, stream as well. Do me a 12-hour stream? There you go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Those are those are fun as hell, yeah. Remember to stay hydrated. Remember to get food. Remember to get, like, stuff that you can eat as you go along. Uh, pro tip, you can get some Cheetos, right? And you get chopsticks. That way you can eat them and game hard and not get your fingers all, like, Cheeto-y and stuff like that. Good stuff, good stuff. Are you good at playing Billy? I can't say that I'm good, but I, I will play Billy. <laughs> I'll absolutely do that for you, my friend. Not only that, I will uh, attempt to get that challenge completed. <laughs> and I'll run only Strider. So let's fucking go, right? And Billy, I will say it's, it's a killer of extremes when it comes to me. Either I cannot get a chainsaw to save my life and I get absolutely annihilated. Or... Oh my god, three flashes. Am I gonna regret this greatly? I mean, we're barely right. We can, we can punish them for it quite badly. But yeah, either I am a god and I they cannot avoid my chainsaw and I'm just like slaughtering everybody, downing everyone. Or I'm the one who cannot get a single chainsaw and I become a sad, sad M1 killer. Basically what it comes down to. So very much a killer of extremes. <laughs> Hopefully this is going to be one of the matches where I do pretty good because those are massively fun. But boy, oh boy, am I ever inconsistent with them. Hey, Dennis. Welcome on in, how are ya? Just hit Eerie 2 on Killer as well, today's stream, so that's fun. Nice, good job, okay. Yeah, you're moving pretty quickly, man. I'm, I'm t it's taking me a hot second. 
I feel like, I guess I just don't play the game as much as I used to, huh? Because I used to, like, get to Eerie 1 on Survivor and Eerie 1 on Killer, like, every season, easy peasy. But these, like, last ones, I've been getting up to, like, Eerie 4-ish on each. Or, like, high gold, that kind of stuff. So it's definitely, uh... I guess it just comes from me not playing the game anywhere near as much as I used to. Because I used to stream, like, every single day, and my streams were, like, five hours long. Now it's, I do, like, you know, four, five, six times a week, and they're, like, three to four hours long. So I guess my my play time in this game has gone down exponentially. I was showing No Mercy Day stream, had a lots of fun. I done jump scare of Ryer, bleh, Ryers, Wraith and Myers on RPD. It's like Wraith and Myers having a baby. If you have like a, a killer that can level up into uh, exposing the survivors and also becoming invisible, that's Ryers. But until behavior adds that, it's nothing but a flub. <laughs> but that does sound fun, yeah. Wraith is super fun, and Myers can be like super fun as well. Not like, you know, not like win games kind of fun, because I don't feel like either of them are particularly great killers, but it's so satisfying zooming around the map as Wraith. Although I guess you can have some pretty crazy builds with him, like the, the one where you go around kicking gens. It's pretty nutty, the one that I've been doing. And then, uh, good old uh, Myers can be brutal as well, right? Although, like, jump scary Myers is more, like, fun. And he really, really is, though. It's like it's really not particularly nice when you go like against a streamer, and if they if they if you go against a streamer and they so happen to be streaming, then you can you know go back in the vod and see the jump scare and stuff. It's great. Uh, what's that? Oh, hello. He's gonna drop this, which is okay. Uh, what 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 what? Bless, dude. <laughs> I see you. Yeah, these guys are going to try to go for flashies and stuff. Mm -hmm. But thankfully she went down right next to the door. Let's try to remember the fact that they have three flashies. That they're probably going to attempting be attempting to be playing. What is happening? I'm so confused. What could this be? Is somebody just like going jumping in and out of a locker? What? Okay. What? <laughs> For Kevin Myers, there was his ace. Won a lot of attention, so I showed it by killing him. Uh, is it the ace that we just put on a hook? Is that the guy? Is it a crossover? Are you playing against the same survivors? Because that seems to be what just happened. What the hell was that? <laughs> also, I absolutely love that. Then he has name, by the way. Biggers, Dickers, Glorious. Oh, how sad that we don't even break the pallet. Uh, bonk, bonk. I wonder if they're gonna be like, yeah, they're pretty cracked fleshies. Oh, oh yeah, she's freaking out and gone. I'm gonna try something stupid. Never mind, I'm a genius. I mean. <laughs> Not the greatest play you've ever made, Cheryl, but alas, we all fuck up. Aw, <laughs> mm. oh, good job, dude. Okay, that makes sense. He was trying to head on me. Makes perfect sense. You should not have done that. Let's worry about flashies, let's worry about head on. Where are you? There you are. I don't think if we do this, you don't get it. And just steer clear from that locker. Poor girl, right? <laughs> hey, who hasn't, you know, gotten themselves stuck in a corner against an instant out killer? Or against a plague or something? It happens. It happens, fellas. Yeah, these guys are playing kind of fast and loose. You are kidding me, man. How close can it be? Extremely, apparently. Okay, cool. I've navigated myself successfully. But he still has his power, dude. This aw. How sad. I have not good enough ability to do anything too fancy here. Ooh, close. That window is pretty powerful. I think this is going to be an M1 play against this guy. Oh, 
Tornado's gonna get blocked, buddy. Do a curve Billy sort of move here, or...? No chance, right? Nah. <laughs> That's just a M1M. I think this guy, is, he's, he's really good. I think these tiles are like quite safe, so we're not gonna have... Can bait out like, like a chainsaw, you know, like... Oh, he's not even gonna fall for that, what a genius! Like this. That window's unblocked. This room is sketchy though, but doesn't matter so much. Ah, oh, do you have? Hang on. <laughs> oh come on. That was so good, dude. This man freaking Naruto disappeared in front of me. What a genius. I had the opportunity to get him. But then I, I choked it completely. Like when he was in that locker, that would have been a pretty easy grab if I actually took time to use my brain. Aww. Cracked out flashies. Not too surprising. I think this dude is the best out of the whole bunch by far. So I think like it's a mistake following him to be age. Uh, but speaking of mistakes, you have made one. This is tough though. Two of them, two flashies, like... Nice. Uh, let's try to zone you out though. Don't think we get it. We don't get it, we don't get it, we don't get it, we don't get it. Yeah, no. Uh, chances that you got these guys have a breakable is pretty real too, isn't it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think we're already at like six downs, aren't we? I wonder if like grabbing somebody off a locker counts as a down. Nice try, friend. That girl has unbreakable, that's something else worth worrying about, but... Uh, let's see. If I could hook you though, that'd be great, but I don't know. Dear god, that's a terrible hook spawns all around, but hey. Kind of standard to show on this map, isn't it? Cool. I must have somebody that on hook, I just wonder who it is. Wait, what? What are these scratch marks though? I'm so exceedingly confused. Uh, off the record or something? No? Okay. Have fun on the ground then. <laughs> Alright, now why would you run and then like vault a window and then give me a, you know. Give me a warning and then flashy, clicky in my face. I thought for sure he was going to have off the record something to protect himself with. That was a silly thing to do. Nice. Uh, that guy gets picked up, though, I'm sure. Uh, I guess he had Unbreakable. It's probably like Unbreakable DS, right? That's why he felt so confident. Would make sense. Are you dead on hook? Because you feel pretty checked out. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are. Because they let you go to stage two on your first hook. Shame. And these guys are pretty good, but I feel like they're, you know, they're playing to get, like, flashy saves and this kind of stuff. So, like, if you go against a semi-competent killer who can play around that, you just kind of, you know, like, throw in the game, essentially. Which you will hear no complaints about. I absolutely despise the fact that this map has blood on the floor. So I don't know if I'm following an injured survivor or if it's just like, you know, if it's just, uh, what would you call it? Ambiance. I think she's fine, right? Nice. I think she's gonna have a yet another pallet here, yep. Oh. That ace is still trying to get my attention. Uh, didn't break this either. Aw. Take the M1. Why not? Oh, good dead hard though. Should have waited that out to be edge. That being said, are you gonna be making anywhere else? I don't think so. <laughs> 
deal accepted the ace must now die I mean, he has been like you know vaulting shit and making noises the entire match hopefully he'll continue to do that right hmm Would anybody like to pick the killer that we play next, by the way, friends? Fair bit of progress on all these gens, though. Head on, like... Do it. Hit me. I'm so confused about, like, how much progress there is across, like, a bunch of random... Randomly spread generators. This is a fang. Hello, friend. Uh, the, the guy must be over there, then. The entire match. <laughs> this man is just making noises. And now all of a sudden, when I want to kill him, he's just like, perfectly quiet. He goes stealth mode. Spirit or demo? Demo it is, my friend. Spirit is one where, uh, you know, I would rather keep my, uh, keep the hearing loss to a minimum, right? So if, if I can help it, I'll definitely be picking demo as opposed to spirit. Okay, now your uh, friend is hella cute. You are not hella cute, therefore you must die. I'm sorry. And that fang, uh, I got touch. <laughs> GG's. But yeah, I guess this this goes to show, kind of, you know, how flashy squads can be sort of scary sometimes, but sometimes, at the same time, they can be uh, their own worst enemy. And they, they can kind of just like, you know, throw the game trying to get them as opposed to just playing like normal. Which is much more beneficial sometimes. I have no idea where this freaking was in the middle. There we go. GG's. Good stuff. Or was the uh, the boon, by the way? I imagine it would be. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm I'm thinking of. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of the previous game. Whoops. I mean, they you know they they dropped the flashy. I accepted the deal. Hey, fair stuff. Fair stuff is all I can say. Did get the uh, the challenge done, which is nice. Now purple glyphs, nice and straightforward. Uh, exposing people is also something that we're going to be able to do a little bit later on. But for now, I think you know we just do this, and it's probably probably better, right? Just so we don't have to concern ourselves of what perks we bring or, or the people that we play. Demo it is. However, we're not doing the whole line business anymore, so let's see. I kind of like the idea of running Rancor and save the best for last, though. I suppose we could have... Call a Brine? Call a Brine pop these two? That seems pretty good, right? I mean, save the best for last is just an absolute must-have on Demo. And it sounds as if... We have a pretty solid build to work with, friends. Mm. It's pretty fucking warm, though. <laughs> I'm sweating. Sweating massively. Still love that emote. Still glorious. I 
What do we have to deal with in terms of the survivors, though? Oh, that's a good one, 2K. <laughs> I like that. Oh, whoops. Thank you for the pop-up. Appreciate that. Uh, two medkits, two... Two boxes. Just way, way... Oh, never mind, one flashy. Way scarier than anything the, uh, you know, the, the full flashy squad can throw at us. Okay, can you... <laughs> Shut up. There we go. Shut up. Phenomenal. Hey, Shavel, welcome on in. How's it going, my friend? Shame you enjoy it. Dude, that's a, he's a great YouTuber. Bonus points for the owl. I gotta tell you. But I'm doing good. It's going good. How is yourself? <sighs> the owl sells 80% of it. It really does, right? It's, I don't know. It's just something about like, I feel there's a lot of YouTubers who do it. And something about it is just like very satisfying. I don't know. Maybe it's just like a cute ass animal on your screen, right? So it, it hits that sort of like part of your brain, right? You know, right? The reason why, you know, some people will like watch like certain streamers who they think they're hot and they won't like, you know, care for the content or whatever. They'll just like look at the, you know, at the streamer and, and be, you know, dreaming and shit. There's like eye candy. I guess it's the same logic. Same thing as a, you know, as a, uh, as an owl. Where you're just looking at the owl being like, mm, very cute, lovely. Wish that I could hug it. Mm. Well, they at work, but all of them are long. I see, my friend. Well, at least you're done with it, right? Has it been like, because you said a while ago that your boss is going to be out of town another time. Like a week in town and then a week out of town or something like that, if I remember correctly. Is... Is this the week in which she's out of town, or, or what's going on? Man, I, I hope they just don't have the same cosmetics. Because the Michaela's... Hang on. I have important business to attend to. What the fuck? Bruh. Where's this fucking glyph? There we go. The Michaela's are my obsession, and we have two... Gl or sorry, two perks dedicated around the obsession, so we definitely do not want to go for the wrong person, if we can help it. Uh, I am enticed on dropping chasing and protecting the generator. Because I'm pretty sure there's somebody that came back here, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. We know you're not the obsession. Nice. I think this, we got you here. Yeah. Uh, Dead hard, potentially, though? Fuck my life, man. Dude, I... Mm. <laughs> I waited. I waited until she was fully out of the locker so that I would tap him one so that she wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't get a grab. I would get a stack of save the best for last. But I still grabbed her anyways. That's a, annoying. Pop is going to be huge here though. Next week she's back for good, but I'm still boss. Boss men substitute extraordinary. That's a good title to have. I mean, I guess it's a good sign that she trusts you enough, right? Bless, dude. That was really good. And also we know that she's the obsession. There's no, uh, no loss for us. Fantastic. Let's remember your skin, though. Hopefully there's no, like, repeats or anything. That was too... That was wishful thinking, right? There's no way she's gonna fuck up that badly. Not on the tile that's, like, this open and easy to see. Uh, there's gonna be a sketchy one for you, though, I think. Fuck, man. <laughs> I got, like, inspired by that hit, and now I'm, I'm going for these, like, really bold ones. There we go. No stacks? Right, exactly. Freaking sadness, dude. Like, I literally waited for her to, like, be all the way out of the locker so I wouldn't grab her. And the game's still gonna steal my one humble stack of Save the Best for Last. Where's the third person? I guess there was two of them? I don't even know. A lot of progress on this gen though, but Pop is coming in super clutch. Also, I suppose good news, Trivel, is that you are... Like, that's it, right? Like, you know, she's back for good now. So no more having to worry about that uh, particular nightmare. Maybe this is, you know... Nice, dude. Maybe this is naive me calling, but hey, if she's happy, 
with how you you led the team could you could could there be like a promotion ahead of time waiting for you because she was so impressed with your uh, work ethic and you know yada yada or maybe it's gonna be one of those situations where uh, you know they're like congratulations on doing way more than your job requires you to your reward is a higher workload with no reward whatsoever. I do not know how that didn't hit her, by the way. You have no idea how happy I am to just eat the or take the M1 on you there, bro. Uh, this is kind of falling apart, though. If this girl comes after me, I wouldn't mind turning around and just smacking her. Does she have a window here? I'm playing this really stupid, to be honest with you. Like, my brain is just massively turned off. Whoa! What? Oh, was that like a 99 sprint burst? Or what? Must have been, right? I don't see what else that could have been. Bro. What is going on? Okay, you were... I guess you were the person who was on the generator and you were trying to be a little flashy goblin. I don't mind that at all. I am choking on these chases though. Hopefully start building some momentum with Save the Best for Last. Let's make damn sure we kick a generator. This pop goes a weasel. Mm. Uh, okay. I've already messed up. There's a gen I should have kicked. That's okay. That girl has a medkit, not a flashy, so... Aw, dude. Well played. Guess kicking that one is like super worth it, huh? Because we have... Call of Brian. Yeah, I'm not... Not finishing the chases as efficiently as I would like to. <laughs> I think you miscalculated, lady. <laughs> They can miscalculate it real fucking badly. Yeah, you're not gonna turn into me and then that hard after that. <laughs> I think maybe she didn't account for the fact that I had saved the best for last, so she thought she would have enough distance to make it somewhere safe. Funny. Uh, okay, this one has uh, more progress. Up goes a weasel it is. We're holding things together for now, but gotta be careful. Fair, 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 fair. Just rather let go. I come here because I think they're gonna come back and touch this potentially, or or heal the hook, heal the hook. Cool. Nice. Hell yeah, dude! I fucking love save the best for last. Best perk. Let's go. Eight stacks. Hell yes. Also, have used no portals by the way. <laughs> I just realized. Zero portals have been deployed this entire match. Ah, that was too obvious. Uh. What? Bruh. Sorry, that is a crime. Hey, we're coming back. Big time. Momentum is starting to go our way. Actually using <laughs> portals, how about that? <laughs> Actually using our power? No. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. You missed a skill check too. Phenomenal. And contest this rescue. Except nobody's coming back. She went and healed herself. We could camp out this girl to death, but... I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna. Never mind, you know, going for whoever is... Oh, there you go. Like, I'll, you know, let them rescue and all, but... Oh, I shouldn't go for you. I have Rancor. 
Yeah, no, I think it's definitely in my best interest to just lay B. Just randomly started thinking about how I can't get Scoop Steve. It's okay, okay. It'll be back one day. You silly little goblin, dude. Why would you do that? It'll be back one day and then all of us uh, non-Scoop Steves will be able to evolve into a Scoop Steves. Or a Scoop Steve, I suppose. Unless you somehow, you know, if you have two accounts, maybe. There we go. Nice. Yeah, with a Rancor, we can kill the obsession right away. So it should be pretty chill to, you know, to leave her with the like one hook that she has. With the Scoop Steve squad someday, so you better get it when it's come back. Oh, my friend, I day one of Scoop Steve being available, I will buy the ever living shit out of that skin, and you will see me run that survivor exclusively for the next 2,000 years. Fret not, my friend. I've been dreaming about Scoop Steve for a very long time now. <laughs> that's the, you know, that's the fuck up that keeps me awake at night. Is the fact that I had, I thought about buying that skin, but I didn't. Uh, you have that hard, right? Yeah. If it's back this Christmas, apparently Strange Things, I'm getting all the demo skin and scoop before it just randomly disappears again. Yeah, right? Anything that you even remotely wanted to get, probably for the best if you buy it right away. Before, you know, Netflix gets cranky again. And decides to take it all away for no fucking reason. Yet another time. <laughs> Speeve, I want Vecna. Yeah, Vecna would be sick. He's got a cool design. I'm sure he'd make for a great DVD killer for sure. I thought about it today as well. Let's pray to Stranger Things again at some time. At some point. Jesus Christ, I bl bluffed that one very badly. Yeah, Regulator. I, I've been really hoping for it to come back. I I don't know, man. Like, th There's rumors, right? But rumors are just rumors. But I'm definitely... This game is rigged. Like, I'm sorry. That's ridiculous. I understand that she had Sprint Burst, right? And I didn't hit that because of Spring Burst, which is fair enough. But the reason I say that is because I always run Spring Burst as Survivor. And today, there have been like three instances in which I sprinted directly away from the killer way earlier than this mech did. And they still hit me anyways. And I'm like, okay, I guess the lunge of the killer is just better than the Spring Burst. I'll, I'll, I'll learn that, right? I'll, I'll keep that in mind. And then this girl sprint bursts away, and then she gets 27,000 miles on me, and I still somehow don't make it to her. I swear to God, this game just doesn't like me, man. They're doing really good, by the way, all things considered. That being said, if we catch her, I think she's dead. Uh, monkey! Oh. Thank you very much for the follow, my friend. Hugely appreciated. I hope you enjoy the streams, the emotes, all the good jazz. Welcome on in. And my friend, if you would like to pick a killer for us... I don't think this girl has anything left, right? There's a window here, but like... Ooh, good fake, though. I think she's... No, she, I took I took the pallet out. Yeah, you're in trouble now. These guys are playing really well. Because I feel like I'm doing good. I'm downing them super quick, but they're, they're being very efficient and smart about their uh, their positioning and stuff. We still have, like, Rancor. Oh, God. These hooks are kind of bad, though. I still make it, but... Barely, I think. Ooh, tight. Yeah, welcome on in. Monkey Luffy or D Luffy? Monkey Double D Luffy. That's a <laughs> it's, it's a really cool sounding username when I say it like that, huh? Uh, welcome on in, my friend. Appreciate the follow once again. And yeah, uh, we let chat decide a killer. We have every single killer unlocked. If you'd like to see anybody in particular, drop it in chat and I will be happy to play the killer for you. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, these guys play great, man. Like, I'm downing them so quickly. Uh, are you the obsession? Yes, you are. <laughs> and that's why you don't want to, like, waste any time at all. Like, if you can, you know, if you can get zero hooks... Because at the end of the day, any, like, damage that you do to them, like, doesn't really matter, right? Because normally you want to be doing damage to them throughout the match. That way, eventually, you put them on the hook and they die. From, you know, maybe, well, being on the third hook, duh. But because of the fact that we can literally, 
down them and kill them at zero hooks. Any... Well, I guess unless you're gonna get, you know, save the best for last or whatever out of it. Or I guess not save the best for last, but pop goes a weasel, yada yada. You're not really getting too much of a reward from uh, killing the... Or, or getting hooks on the obsession and stuff like that. So that's why I avoided her. That was really well done, dude. Good job. I was I was gonna like debate giving you a hatchet, but I don't even have to. Good work. These guys play great. I'll give you the blind. Oh, never mind. <laughs> she doesn't want it. <laughs> you kill me, I'm Lufni. You good player? Oh, thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. You you played super well too. I feel like all of you guys did. That was like a, a hundred percent like a proper escape. You know, not even like a hatch or anything like that. It was a proper gate escape. And I think I was doing like really well, like save the best for last. I was downing you guys super quickly, but you still managed to, you know, even throughout all that pressure, you managed to get the rescues and get gens done and stuff. That was really well played. So fantastic work, my friend. You get scoops, all demo skins and maybe some Nancy. Yeah, this skin I bought as soon as they announced it. That's why I bought it, right? Because I was like, well, it's going away. I've, you know, kind of always wanted to get it. So I might as well get it now. And I thought about Scoop Steve when I did it. But I was like, man, I don't play Steve that often. And now I'm like, why didn't I get it? I like Steve. <laughs> Sorry for being silent, but I was doing an annoying RuneScape quest. No worries, Oxer. I, you know, we appreciate a good lurk. As much as we do a, an active chatter right so don't don't even sweat it my friend as long as you're here i already appreciate you a ton that heart is not good versus you yeah that heart is like tough it's like uh now if you wait it out it becomes you know like a lot more situational than it used to be right because before it was like you if if it wasn't situational you could just use it for distance and it was like unbelievably good now the distance bit is completely gone and now it's like 100 percent situational if you're not in a you know in like kind of like right about to get to a pallet or something like that and you know the killer has to lunge to get you then you're out in the open. It becomes uh, nowhere near as good. That being said, I, I still think, once again, I think it, you played really, really well. And so did the rest of your teammates. I think with how well I, I played there, how quickly I was downing people, the fact that you and, you know, and the, all the, the progress that I was stealing from the generators with Pop Goes the Weasel and stuff, the fact that you guys still got like a proper escape to the exit gate is really, really good. Huntress time? Absolutely. It shall be my pleasure. Let's do the... <laughs> Let me know if you guys get sick of the of the wall hack build. Let me know, but boy oh boy, I am not. I absolutely love it. So if, if you guys want to see something different, feel free. But as long as you guys are cool with it, I will keep doing this build. It's so good. <laughs> I don't know if I did you before, but I got Stranger Things code for 12 pounds. It's now going up to 60 and more. I'm lucky as fuck. Wow, yeah, that's rough. Like, that's the thing, right? It's kind of like, it must be limited supplies. So uh, you're you're right. Uh, at first, I feel like it used to go for like ten bucks or whatever. But I I think it it's you know kept going like higher and higher and higher and higher, and it's like up to sixty now. I imagine it's just gonna keep going up, right? Like I suspect that unless Netflix brings it back, there has to be like a limited supply, right? And when it starts getting like really rare and really difficult to see, who the who knows? How much is gonna go for but i wouldn't be surprised if it goes up for like you know 100 bucks 150 bucks like if it's that rare you know what i mean where there's like a very 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 few around but then again i have no clue how you know i'm sure it's a limited quantity of codes but i don't know maybe it's like a million or something like that right and then it's probably like totally fine but who knows you have a fire k plus <laughs> is that from uh from from the, the brit gang have you been learning the what do you call it? The RuneScape lingo? None of this account. Playing on my iron, but on my mainscape I do. Nice, Luxor. I don't know what the fuck a Fire Cape Plus is, but it sounds cool. Although I play RuneScape 3, so I have even better capes than Fire Cape. Nice. I have like four Fire Capes. There I say, I don't think she's speaking the truth. I don't think she plays RuneScape. But then again, who knows? Maybe she plays, she plays a lot of Roblox. Maybe she's playing RuneScape on Roblox. That could be a thing. <laughs> I play Lithe better. Yeah, Lithe is a, is a much safer bet. I think now, you know, nowadays after the dead hard nerf, I think that like Sprint Burst and Lithe are king. Those two are a lot harder to deal with as a killer than than uh, dead hard. Although dead hard can come in like really, really clutch sometimes. I, I feel like dead hard is just like way more balanced than it used to be, right? It used to be so unfair. Now it's like it's a lot more balanced and it can come in really clutch sometimes, but not not by any means like all the time. Even on RS3, you, will, you only need two fire capes? I have no idea what we're talking about, Luxor. I, I, I don't even know why we need more than one, you know? Like, you have one neck that you can tie the cape around, right? 
So why would you need two? So you turn it into a fire poncho? Fire poncho plus? Where you like tie one behind your back and one in front of you? Then you have a fire poncho plus as opposed to a fire cape? <laughs> That's the only only reason why I would think you would need two. Unless you can like carry a, I don't know, have a pet or something. Put on your dog. That's a cool painting by the way, never noticed. Wow, poor tiger though. Fucked up. Love the build. It's really good, Regulator. This is uh, our friend Chavol. Don't know if he's here just yet, but he was here a second ago. He's the one who introduced me to it. Particularly, like, especially the part of the add-on, because this was an add-on that I had not even was... Uh, I played so much Huntress, and yet I was so caught up on the add-ons that I liked that I never really even bothered uh, looking around for other add-ons. So when he pointed out this add-on, I wasn't, like, I was barely even aware that it existed at all. That was stupid of me. <laughs> and that was stupid of her. And I also better me again. Now you do some stupid. Run into a tree, and then you'll do some stupid, and then the circle of stupidity will be completed. Okay, there you go, baby. <laughs> she did some stupid. So I fucked up, she fucked up, I fucked up, she fucked up. It's perfect. It's a full circle. Round and round and round. Fantastic. <laughs> I recommend RuneScape if you don't value having free time. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, like, DBD does hit some of those notes as well, but I feel like, you know, RuneScape being a uh, kind of like an MMO type of deal, right? Or I guess not exactly, but somewhat. I feel like those are the absolute kings of uh, taking your time, for sure, right? Who is your favorite killer? I would say... I mean, the top three for me... like Pyramid Head. Pyramid Head is my favorite. He's my number one. He's the one I enjoy the most. But that being said, I have three that I really, really like. Which is Huntress, Blight, and then Pyramid Head. Those three are my favorite. But if I had to pick like just one... Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll take it. If I had to pick just one... Please pick her up, man. Christ. It would definitely be Pyramid Head. Because I like his gameplay as well as his like design and his looks and, and Silent Hill and all the stuff. We don't pick favorite between our kids. Come on now. <laughs> Listen. We definitely don't. Except it's, it's definitely Pyramid Head. It's 100% it's permanent. That was a painful fuck up by her. Yeah. That was tough. I mean, not gonna lie, I, I've done that before, right? I mean, who hasn't? But that was indeed a, a bit unfortunate. I guess the fact that she, like, got stuck on the rock early on and try as she might, she was just not able to move away from it. That's, like, the real sadness of that fuck up. <laughs> but it benefits us. So I shan't complain. Oh, well done, dude. Oh, she had that heart too, so I don't think we were ever going to get that to the edge. If she does this, and then... Well, there we go. Uh, we are tunneling. Maybe she has DS. Maybe we eat it. And I'm very sorry. I just can't find your friends. I don't mean to tunnel like this. Just don't know where your buddies are. I checked, like, a few generators. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I need this. <laughs> Wait. Stop doing the generator. Stop the gen. Stop it right now. Do I even care? Because that gen is so far away, like on top of a stupid ass hill. I don't care. I'll go for you. Except I won't. Yeah, I should care. I don't know. I'm kind of... I'm wondering now, to be honest with you. Does somebody else come for the rescue? Like, do we camp it out? What do we do here? Because they have a fair number of gens done, man. That, that one's about to pop, I guarantee you. And she's smart and she's on the other side of it. Oh, great. Okay, cool. Nice. Ah, so close, but not quite. Lied. I fucked up, man. Okay, let's try to stop this girl then. Except she's not here. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> I went to ask. How is that Uno game from Ubisoft? It's It's Uno. You know, Gucci, if you have friends to play with, it's like a lot of fun. Oh, whoops. Oh. It's uh, it's really enjoyable, but you know, it's Uno. So there's, it's not too crazy, not too different. It's just basically like playing Uno, right? So all, all the Uno bullshit, all the shenanigans, all the good, all the bad. So if you have friends to play with, I would recommend it. If you haven't got friends who want to play, then, you know, it's kind of like... I guess it's any like any board game without friends, which is to say, you know... Considerably not as fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Holy fuck. 
Good job, dude. That was almost really good. Scary stuff. I'm not. Yeah, let me walk under that pallet for no reason. Uh, you are. Aren't you dead on hook? Don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Your fez was gonna nuke that one. Was he rude? Nah, it was just a bot. It was, you know, the classic, uh, do you wanna be famous? Buy followers and, and this and that. So it wasn't like a nasty game or anything like that. Alright. You are... Okay, and then you're going to run into a rock. I do not feel bad about this anymore. Not in the slightest, man. Like, I felt bad about tunneling her and then, you know, killing her so early. Ooh, tasty. No! She saw it. In the windows, man. This is so close to being great, but not quite. You are fast. Oh, yeah. My friend, I am, you know, fa fastest band in the West. <laughs> okay, you silly little goblin. Go get your friend, man. Go rescue. What the hell? Oh, wait. She's already rescued. Never mind. Whoops. Friends, just a mage. Imagine having those exactly right. Who needs those? Who needs those? What are they? A myth? They're not real. Are the DLCs even worth it? Uh, Gucci, I, to be entirely honest with you, I have no idea what the DLCs even are. The DLCs are like... I have no clue. I have the base game, you know, I play the base game. Whenever, you know, the, the friend group is feeling spicy and stuff. And then past that, like, I don't really... Ooh, I mean, they're, she's already injured, I guess. Past that, I don't really, like, touch the game ever. So I don't even know what the DLCs are. I don't know what the DLCs could be. It's like different boards or something. Lie than the quick and quiet, I think, right? What? I'm so confused, dude. I lost the scratch marks. I see you, though. These guys are playing so weird. I don't know why they're not sticking on gens. Like, the, the people who are not on gens are just kind of like... Or I guess the people who are not getting chased. Sorry. They're just kind of like prowling about and just giving me free damage. Which I you're not hear me complain about. I, I guess, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, I have absolutely no clue what the DLCs even are. I don't know what they could be, you know? Like, Uno is Uno. Like, what the fuck is the DLC? Like, <laughs> extra cards, the numbers go up past, you know? Numbers go up to 11 or whatever? I have no clue. This is gonna be... Ha, there's a wall in the way, but, you know, j just so they know. Just so they know to be scared. Then you can see what he said. Oh, yeah, it was just, it was just the classic locks, right, you know? Wanna be famous? Buy followers over at... We're gonna steal your credit card information. Dot com. Man. These throws are like so good if... I'm not bad. Oh my god, that hitbox. You're kidding. You cannot be serious with that hitbox. What was that? Come on. This disgusting. It was like, uh, you know... It was like we're playing American football. And the locker is like a defensive lineman that like I was as I was about to throw the ball, it just like stuck its arm in the way. And batted it down. Ridiculous. <laughs> One of those bot bots that sell you viewers, exactly. With the Uno game, I only remember that Uno video set in Resident Evil Village, which is brilliant. I have never seen that, but it sounds amazing. Setting Uno in Resident Evil Village given the context of that game, yeah, I, I I'm sold. The premise is phenomenal. Right off the bat. Silly in other words. Exactly, Luxor. Good way of putting it. Fuck my life, man. These are like so close. I don't know, I, uh, classic me playing Huntress when, you know, expecting the fucking the hitboxes to work in my favor. Which, why would they? I am not that lucky when it comes to gaming. Mm. Listen here, you motherfucker. So close. <laughs> no dice. You're not gonna... Never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say he was not gonna drop that. He totally did. The fuck was that? Hitbox? Classic. Classic, classic, classic hitbox, man. Sadness. Pure sadness is what it is. I saw that they give different themes for your cards and on the latest DLC I saw some new mechanics but I'm not sure how they're related to the main mode. Or maybe it's a different one? Yeah, because I mean, I don't know, man. I just feel like Uno is Uno, right? There's like three different rule, like, rule sets that I can think of. And I feel like they have all those implemented in the main game already. So if the DLC is just like new card themes and stuff, it's just then I would say nah, it's not really worth it, you know. 
I'm I'm perfectly happy with the looks of the standard Uno bird, believe it or not. Bird? Board, sorry. The standard Uno cards and stuff, I think those look just fine. I have no need whatsoever. To get cosmetics for Uno. <laughs> but hey, if that's something you're into, go for it, why not? Are you a full-time streamer? Uh, regular? Sort of. Because, I mean, I guess it depends on what you mean by full- I feel like I used to be. Because I feel like I used to stream, like, you know, five hours a day. Like, every- like, five to six hours, seven days a week, right? So that would make it to, like, what, like, 35 hours? 35 plus hours? That, that to me, feels like full-time. Right now, I stream more like four hours a day. Five to six, so, like, like you know, 20 to 24 hours a week-ish. So not quite a full-time streamer, but I stream a lot. I stream very often, I suppose you could say. But hey, it's only a matter of time until I, you know, become rich and a millionaire and I steal Oddstar as a throne. Stab him in the heart and, you know, take the crown. <laughs> Once I do that, then yeah, I'll be I'll be a full-time streamer then for sure. <laughs> GG's. Mm -mm -mm. I think we can do like one or two more matches. Would anybody like to pick a killer for us? This match was fucking weird, by the way. I feel like I didn't play that great, but they were just not sitting on gens, man. I don't know what the heck they were doing. But I feel like they had ample opportunity to really punish me for all the misses I was uh I had, but they just they just chose not to. <laughs> it's different than what you think, but the voice actor is so good. I, I yeah, like I don't even know what to expect from it, honestly. It just seems like such a wild concept. But hey, I'm interested. I'm curious. I'm wondering. It's low key waiting for you to be called out for tunneling this game. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. I, you know what? I would blame them. I take it back. I would absolutely blame them. Like I didn't want to tunnel, but they just kept like coming for me and trying to get like flashy saves. And then I would hit them, and they would just run into a rock. It's like, what do you want from me? <laughs> like normally, you know, if I if they try to run away and then I tunnel to, you know, to like put myself in an advantageous position, then like I I understand them complaining about it, right? Because yeah, fair is fair. I did tunnel. But when I'm not trying to, and you just like, you keep coming to me when you're dead on hook and shit. And then once I do hit you, you do a terrible job of like getting away. You just run into a rock three times in a row. It's like, you, do you expect some charity work here? <laughs> but to be fair, she didn't say, you know, she didn't complain. So I, I can't, I can't say anything. But if she had, that would have been, uh, that would have been fucked. <laughs> but dare you stream Les? I'm sorry, Kay. That's true. From now on, 12-hour streams every single day, seven days a week. <laughs> I think it was owning a house that did it to me. Now it's all, you know, th this whole, like, having responsibility shit. And going around, like, fixing stuff and setting up cameras and cutting the lawn. And researching what the what the best leaf blower to buy is. And looking up, you know, deals on, on batteries for your Eagle lawnmower. <laughs> all this stuff. <laughs> Emptying out the, the de dehumidifier in the basement so that it won't be freaking, you know, 85% humidity down there and the mold is just going to eat the house from the inside out. All that stuff taking up my time. Suppose you have a job besides streaming then? Uh, yeah, I, I've got a company in Brazil. So yeah, so that, that's a piece of uh, Scruben's lore for you. And that's how I get my money, pretty much. Company in Brazil, I kind of manage it. A, a part of it. From Sweden? And I do that stuff, you know? I am also not beyond uh, taking a, a proper normal job. Normal everyday job. I worked at a cafe for a while when I was here in Sweden. But then we moved. Well, one thing we moved and then, you know, the, 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 the boss was kind of a dick. Like, the boss was great, right? In terms of, like, he was a, this cool dude. Super chill. Super understanding, right? Had our backs. You know, didn't take shit from customers. Fantastic, great boss. But he kind of did this, this stuff where he screwed us over. Where he was like, you know, I was like, oh, do you guys want, uh, do you guys want a, uh, a job once the summer ends? And we're like, yeah, definitely, for sure. Like, you know, 100%, totally. Money, I like money, give it to me. And then they were like, and then, you know, and then he said we were going to get it. And then all of a sudden it was like, well, actually, there's not enough room. And, uh, and we're going to go with this girl who totally screwed us over, us being like the business, you know what I'm saying? And who like consistently... Uh, you know, like skips out on work and makes excuses and blah 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 and, and who we claim is about to get fired any day now. Well, she's been working for longer so we're going to go with her instead and, and no job for you guys, so fuck you. And then, you know, and then he texts me being like, hey, 
now we're opening a second store. Do you want a job now? And I was like, yeah, dude. I was like, okay, cool. I'll, I'll contact you in, a, in like a week or two. And then like two, three weeks go by. I, I, I talk to him. Nothing. Silence. He just doesn't reply to me ever. Just leaves me hanging completely, right? And then after, I don't know, two months after that or something like that, after I text him back. Actually, it was more like four months or something like that, actually. So he texts me, you know, I text him back like four months. He comes back to me like, hey, yeah, about that job. You want it? I'm like, no, I don't. I'm moving. I don't live here anymore. <laughs> if you had, you know, if, if, if it had been two weeks, like you said, I would have been very interested. But it's been four months. Life goes on, man. I don't know what to tell you. So, yeah. I manage a company in Brazil. <laughs> and I play video games. That's what I do. <laughs> Nimi time. I like the way you think, Luxor. Let's go for it. Let's go for a build that's slightly spicier. Why don't we? A little bit different. I feel like we've been our, our builds today have been hitting like the same notes. You know what I want to do? I want to steal ideas from a better streamer than me, aka Otstarva. Go coming back to him full circle, right? And I want to try doing the challenge that he did, where he plays the you know the nice guy build. Where it's like four perks are pretty chill. I think it's like no way out and fire up. And get, yeah, like the artist one. Whose name I forget. Yeah, this one. Grim Embrace. And then Gift of... It's not Gift of Pain. What is it? Penance? Forced Penance? No, that's a... I'll, 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 I'll show you guys this one. It is Gift of Pain. It's just a Scourge Hook. Never mind. Okay, yeah. And he tries, you know, he plays as dirty as he has to. But he tries to go for the win with like kind of four... You know, weak-ish perks on every killer. And I think at the end of the day, he managed to get like 23 out of 27 or something like that. Which is way better than I, I am going to get. Because I can tell you that like, you know, Piggy and Freddy and Hag and Spirit. Those are not those are not going to be it for me. But I'm wondering how good I can do in comparison to, you know, the, the great Otstarva. Nemi time where the box will be fine. Why not? Why not both shuffle? How about that? We can do Nemi time right now. Once we're done with that, we can do Mr. Needleface. And that sounds like a good time. Good time to me. I have a dick boss right now and I'm kind of stuck there. But my guidance counselor will try to guide me what to do. Wish I had more free time as well. Yeah, it sucks, right? Like I said, like I can't complain about the boss too much, right? Because he was really cool, you know? When it comes to like working retail, it can be like really shitty, right? And it fucking, it's terrible. Like having a boss that just kind of like bends over. And lets the customers, you know, like, abuse the staff. And, you know. But, like, so, like, that boss was chill, was reasonable, was flexible, was cool, right? Was fun. And, like, so I, I cannot complain about that at all. It was just, like, that one thing right at the end that kind of, you know, like, soured the relationship a little bit. Where it was like, yeah, we, we know that we've been complaining about this girl. And I know that you guys, you know, like, went above and beyond to uh, help out the, the cafe. Well, this girl took every opportunity that, that she could to screw us over. But yeah, she's been working for longer, so she gets a job, not you too. I'm like, well, shame. And then, you know, as if that wasn't enough, he just completely ignores my text for like four months and then comes back being like, hey, you wanna you wanna work? And I'm like, I, yeah, I did. Not anymore though. <laughs> uh, so I can't complain too much, but I'm very sorry, regulator, about your dick boss. I hope I hope it I hope it gets better though. I hope your uh, counselor can help you out. Because it is, uh, it's, it's fucking shitty, man. Like, it's, you know, just jobs aren't that easy to come by nowadays, right? So, like, sometimes you just gotta, like, you just gotta take it. And it fucking sucks, but, like, it is what it is. Gift of Pain? Yeah, exactly, Gucci. Gift of Pain? Grim Embrace? No Way Out? Fire Up. So, yeah, four, like, super chill perks. Granted... Nice guy perks does not mean like nice guy playing, so he did plenty of like tunneling and camping as he as he had to, which you know I don't blame him for, right? Because he plays in like really high MMR and with builds like that, certain maps, certain killers, you just like have to. And I guess the whole point, oh thematic, we're going to RPD. But I guess the whole point of the video was to like try and see how whoops how often, or sorry, how much you can win if you really try. Hello, friend. With like all the killers, right? And I feel like if you, you know, go out of your way to be nice, then you're just kind of like screwing yourself. 
Oh, hi. This reimburse nice. Oh, I hit the tap too. Glorious. He's fucking stuck now, though. Nice. Oh, hello, friend. <laughs> oh, great. Zombies are so fair, huh? Zombies are dumb, man. Like, they just don't do anything until they until they do. Uh, didn't we see some, like, three flashies, by the way? Plus boil over? Hang on. Is this an RPD offering? Because if it is, then... Oh, no, never mind. If it was an RPD offering, I'd be, like, pretty confident that I, I knew what they were doing, but... Does not seem like that's the case. Sabos, though? Because I feel like this is them trying to go for, like, uh, fancy rescues and stuff, right? Not the smartest thing you've ever done. Not gonna lie, bro. Could've just, like, kept holding that way, really. But hey, works for me. We're heading tier 2, which is really good. Nice. And now... <laughs> what a body block! <laughs> I thought for sure... Okay, somebody up there. I thought for sure that girl was gonna body block, bro. She just... I just fucking got the hell out of the way. The f absolute first chance she got. That is so funny. It's probably gonna be the one that gets hit, right? I feel like I heard multiple people screaming, so that would make sense if that's the one that has the most progress. Because it's two of them there, because of the scordons. Yeah, almost done. Nice. You killed your zombie that did the job, indeed. No mercy, Gucci. Man, these zombies, like, for me to form any type of attachment with these zombies, they're gonna have to do so good for so long. Because I have, like, I, I hold such a grudge against them for being so bad in so many matches. Because <laughs> I feel like for every time that a, a zombie comes in clutch, they get stuck in a tree and do nothing the entire match. Probably, like, five times, you know. Oh, nice, you're screwed now. Uh, yeah, if you had, like, that hard for distance. Old that hard. Hopefully we're we're past those dark days. Surge is coming in super clutch too. Uh, watch out for flashies though. They got bunches. And just in your situation with your former boss, you had I feel the same when I have now. X nice, but still not so nice. Yeah, exactly. I guess it could be worse, right? Because you you have people who are just like a hundred percent dicks all the way through, right? So if you have like a boss that like is sort of a dick in certain ways, but he's quite nice in another, I suppose that's like. Better. But not best still, right? But hey. Suppose we have to look look things through the bright side and all. If you had gone left, I would have been so happy. Mm. Alright, friend. Monk. We're doing really good, man. Six X are the best for last. They're having a rough time on generators. This is a really bad map for uh, scur for pain res, for scourge hooks in general, just because it's like so hard to navigate. Like half the time, is you you can't even get to any hook at all, right? It's maybe not even worth breaking my time. Or <laughs> this may not even be worth my time breaking. Sorry, with how uh, terrible that palette is, but hey, might as well. Or Nemi, we can break them quicker than you've ever seen, so... Might as well. What are you do- Bro, you cannot think that you're that sneaky. <laughs> this lady thinks I have the freaking glaucoma or something. Huh? Now you're fucked. Alright, under a scotch hook. We're getting lucky though, dude. We're getting so I cannot tell you how lucky we're getting with these uh with these hooks. I think they're getting so much value out of them. They have zero gens done so far. This match is going just as well as you we could possibly hope, especially given that is RPD. This is a terrible, terrible map. Uh, I feel like somebody touched this, right? Oh actually maybe, you know what? Yeah, no 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 no. It's probably this, this gen is not the one that got hit by, by Prime Res and that gets confirmed by the fact that that one got finished there. Definitely agree. Yeah, exactly. Happy you do, my friend. Just gotta, you know. Stuff sucks, but hey. Could be worse, right? And I guess no one's perfect. Yada yada. Is your last killer game? Uh, K, we're going to be doing 
pyramid head. Sorry, not pyramid head. A pin head after this. And then that's going to be our, our last game, yeah. So one pin head after this. Then after that, we shall be. I need a stream for today. And then after that. Oh. Yeah, we, we shall be back uh, uh, tomorrow, question mark, mayhaps. We shall see, we shall see. It's Friday, maybe I'll be busy, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a very uh, social guy who likes to party and stuff, so it being Friday night. Tomorrow I may be busy sitting on my couch, itching my balls. Because <laughs> I'm definitely not going out. <laughs> uh, help me. Help me, I have no life. <laughs> Making friends is hard. <laughs> but wait, that, that, that not me too much, personally. Makes for, makes for a fine joke, though. Nice, dude. I have read you like a book. Like a book, tap. You, the outdoors. I can't even say that, man. I, oh, I love the outdoors. But then again, I think I, I I talked about this yesterday, didn't I? It depends on the outdoors. You used to live in Brazil, the, the Brazil outdoors. Fucking hate those. Fuck them. Terrible. Yuck. <laughs> it's fucking warm. It's humid. There's mosquitoes. The, the landscape's not nice. There's no good views. You have to worry about getting mugged all the time. It's terrible. My review of the Brazilian outdoors is 0 out of 10. Would not get robbed again. Zombie! You suck! <laughs> she went right next to you. Then I got to Sweden and uh, amazing. 10 out of 10. It's safe. The, the people are nice. The, mosqui the mosquitoes are polite enough to not show up until like, you know, late at night. So at least you, you know how to avoid them. Speaking of zombies getting stuck, how you doing, friend? <laughs> Enjoying the fire? <laughs> Trying to warm up? Rainy, rainy afternoon, I see. Oh my god, dude, I thought that wolf was an actual, like, actual dog in the game. I got so scared, I was like, whoa, they added dogs to DBD. Fuck yeah. It's all three of them. But yeah, outdoors in Sweden, 10 out of 10. Can't get enough. Brazil, fuck that. Real life is a boring gameplay. Very true, very true. I just think that the cops in real life are OP, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't even, like, do anything fun. The cops would be, like, on top of you. And if it's, like, GTA, you know, you just, like, you just go to jail and you get out right away. But then, like, the, the jail time in IRL is more like, you know, it's more like years. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty fucked up. This man just... What? How do you do that? He, like, vaulted that? And I didn't hit him? Crazy. Mm. Cops need a nerf? Absolutely. <laughs> they really do. You know, if I want to, like, fucking do some, like, Tokyo drifting on the streets and cause a bit of a crash or two. Should I really go to jail for years as opposed to, like, you know, in GTA where it's, like, seconds? What are you guys doing all together? <laughs> so confusing. Oh, I guess they're doing this gen. If I can down you quick, though. You, I don't want to hit because of my stonks. Yeah, she's looping around, so I think we're going to hit that with Surge. A zombie's stuck again, man. <laughs> okay. Are they, have they caught on to the fact? I don't think that I get Surge with this, right? Maybe that's how. I mean, Ben, use for you. I have, say, the, or pain res. <laughs> Maybe that's what they're doing. If so, I guess it's pretty clever of them. Maybe doing a cop is cool gameplay? Yeah, probably, right? Being a cop, I'm sure. <laughs> I think I saw, like, a clip of, like, some, like, crazy lady that took the cops on, like, a, this, like, uh, you know, chase. Like, a classic cop chase, like, cars and shit. Well, the. I guess, you know what, never mind, not the, it could have been on foot, but it was not on foot, it was like a, a car chase. And then she was like, oh, I didn't do anything, it's like, you, you fucking took us around, like, on a car chase. You could have killed somebody. And she's like, yeah, but you guys had a little fun, right? And I'm like, you know what, the, yeah, the, the cops probably did have a little fun. Like, being a cop, I'm sure it's boring most of the time, right? Like, it's not really, like, exciting shit, you're probably just doing, like, desk work. And going around, you know, telling teenagers to please keep it down. And telling people not to, to loiter around, you know, like, old uh, crazy Karen's place of business or whatever. 
Probably don't get to get into a, you know, good old fashioned car chase too often. Uh, I'll just, because this map is so big, I'll close this and I'll just let her have the gates. Otherwise, it'll take a hot second. I will go murder zombies for no reason. <laughs> Don't think eating donuts all day is cool. I disagree. <laughs> I think sitting on your ass eating donuts all day sounds amazing. Donuts, I listen. That that is, you know, relatively biased. As me being a donut enjoyer. <laughs> I love donuts. Maybe I should be a cop. Hell yeah. Man of culture right there. 100%. Those are great. <laughs> Alright, GG's. That was a really good match for us, man. We got, like, a really lucky with a lot of stuff there, honestly. Just those, like, pain res hits were so good for us. Because that map, is, like I said, it can be absolutely impossible. It can be so freaking difficult. So we can be happy about how that one went. Good night, everyone. Sleep well. Thank you for the entertainment today, Chris. My pleasure, my friend. Thank you for stopping by. I hugely appreciate it. I hope you sleep well. Have a fantastic rest of day tomorrow. All that good stuff. And I will see you around, Luxor. Just one more match before we end the day, so you shan't be missing out on much, my friend. It's going to be good old... We have... Okay, we have to hit people while they're exposed. And it's going to be Needle Face, so you know what's coming. Devour Hope, Noed, Haunter Grounds... Uh, yo mama town. What else? Everything. Give it all to me. <laughs> to make your choice. All of it, dude. We're gonna go all out. Everything. Exposed status. I guess Starstruck is not mega good, right? I think I'd rather... I uh, think these are a little bit more reliable. Where the frick is no bro? Am I blind? <laughs> I went for this one. <laughs> the answer is yes, I am blind. Dude, ah, you're kidding. I think I know what's going on here. I don't think I have no wet for him, do I? I think I leveled... Do I really not have no wet for him? I think I leveled him up... Buff. No, but you don't... You don't lose perks. Am I drunk? Then what the hell is going on here? A nine? Third seal, ruin, retribution, plaything. Devour? Yeah, it should be like here. I guess I'm just crazy. Why do I not have Noed? <laughs> I guess we're not running Noed then. <laughs> let's in the, in the blood web. Hang on, let's level it up once and see. Yeah, I have no clue. I'm confused. I thought I had it all figured out, but nope. Okay, no Noed. <laughs> what did I say? Starstruck? It is what it is. Because we're doing Starstruck. Except I can find it now. And then we had Maker Choice as well, which is going to be a piggy one. Which she is tier 3, so... Bam. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for the stream. Wait, was this the last game? Uh, one more, sweetie. This right here that we're about to do is the last one of the evening. Once that's done, it shall be sleepy time. Well, I guess video editing time for me. But then after that, then it's sleepy time. Alrighty. Whoops. I am fucking sweating though, dude. Something about, I don't know, man. Something about, uh, I guess the fan's not on. And something about these boys warm me up. <laughs> My bad locks have tricked me. <laughs> it's okay, sweetie. We all know that Luxor is a good old trickster, you know what I'm saying? He's like, uh, like Loki. Gotta watch out for him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And now we wait for a match, which is presumably going to take a hot second. Oh, shit, thank you. Got the fan, guys. Is the wire big enough? 
<laughs> you guys might about to might be about to have the uh my goodness. The what do you call it? The air tunnel? What's it called again? The wind tunnel. Air tunnel. The wind tunnel experience. Thank you, sweetie. Appreciate it. It might be about to get a fucky audio, but hey. <laughs> Hell yeah. Just pretend, guys. Pretend that it's 2010. Back when things were simpler. And you are playing good old Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Right? And you are fragging out with the noob tube. And some kid is, is crying at you because of it, losing his fucking mind. Because how dare you use a gun in the video game? How fucking could you? And that, you know, one guy is laughing. And both their microphones in a hot summer's day are getting wind blown directly into it. So just, you know, allow this match to be a little uh, expedition back in time <laughs> to simpler days. <laughs> I was playing Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions back then. Well, then pretend that uh, Peter Parker had a crappy microphone with wind blowing into it. Though to be fair, this microphone is supposed to be really fucking nice, so I don't actually know if it's going to pick up too much on it. Can I t Did I ever tell you guys my idea for a Twitch channel before I started this one? What I wanted to do was have a, 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 a channel called Wind Tunnel Gaming in which I played games, right, with no webcam, no nothing, right? No overlay, no, no fancy anything. It was literally just the screen and absolutely nothing else. And I was going to have, a, uh, at all times, a fan blowing directly in the microphone. It was going to be like the crappiest microphone I could find. Which is like wind blowing directly into it. Just going to be like... The entire match. Or sorry, the entire match. The, the entire stream. And that's just what my stream was going to be. And I, I thought about it, but I was like, who the fuck would watch that? Like, uh, dare I say hilarious in my opinion. Very, very funny indeed. Who would watch that? <laughs> Are you okay, my dude? I think it's funny, Gucci. But because it's it's the kind of thing that I feel like if I was on Twitch, you know? Oh crap, wait, what the hell? I, I clicked them too by accident. If I was on Twitch and I saw that, I think I would have thought it was like hilarious, you know? But then I thought about it more. And I was like, yeah, that's the kind of thing that I would, uh, you know, click on, I would see. I'd be like, <laughs> that's funny. And they just never watch it ever again, you know? I would get like one chuckle out of it. And then never, ever watch the stream. Like, who the fuck is going to tune in to watch, like, Wind Tunnel Gaming, right? It's watch some guy, like, <laughs> play silently and all. This is not going to happen. It's not, it's not real. It is a fantasy. Ooh, he's smart. Where is he? Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? This guy's pretty fucking clever, dude. He's going all sorts of places. And I missed that. But that's okay, because he overthought this. Ooh, bless. Really close. He was overthinking that. Uh, Starstruck. Then we just try to go for Devourer, and we hope that Devourer carries us. Cool. Man. Good old uh, cow shed, though. <laughs> I love the joint noise I heard was, yeah, the, the wind sound effects. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was uh, me pointing out the, the idea for the original Scrubens before there was Scrubens, if you know what I'm talking about. That's what we were going to do. <laughs> it was going to be wind tunnel gaming. I just wind blowing on a microphone 24-7. But I, uh, I I thought better of it, and dare I say, I think this format here is uh, a little bit nicer. <laughs> like, yes, though, look what I found. Little box, let's go. Hell yeah. Okay. 
Hello, Steve. The VAR is still in play. Very good. I think we're going to need it to help us out. Fantastic, dude. Oh, you're having a rough time. Oh, yeah, you are. I think I saw... Yeah, dead hard. But you did it. Last time you did it when I tried to chain you. Incredible. Now you must come with me. Now you must come with me. Really good start for us, man. This is a terrible map. Friend that at Gamescom, there was a new game announced called Where Winds, Where Winds Meet. Perfect. That's the official uh, <laughs> Scrubens game. Oh, it's me, guys. Look. It's YMCA's. <gasps> you have the box! Hang on, sir. I shall be uh, suing you for identity theft. If only somebody would rescue before then, but no luck. I guess if I can down this guy quick enough, then it'll be even better because my devourer will remain secret. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Damn, good job, dude. There's a nifty little dollars that you pulled off, sir. Where is he? What the fuck am I <laughs> looking at? Okay, good. Yeah, the virus is still secret, and they're gonna let that guy die or what? What's going on here? I'm gonna hope that you'll have an amazing rest of your day, and if you are going to sleep, I wish you good dreams. About Scoop Steve? That's, that sounds like a wonderful dream. They just let that, that guy die, by the way. Literally, okay, and no devour hope for me. We're gonna probably, like, destroy these guys, and it's we're not gonna get any of the exposed downs that we need. Classic DBD. Thank you for stopping by, K. Hugely appreciate it, my friend. Hope you sleep well as well. And indeed, we shall be going to sleep soon, so you're not going to be missing out on too much since this is our very last uh, match that we're playing. But yeah, I, I w hope you have a good one, my friend. And I will see you around. Left him to die because they know you have Devour? I don't know, man. I don't think so. Because, like... They haven't done any of the... Like, if, if I feel like they know I have Devour, they would have... I'm gonna what, tunnel somebody now. Great, fantastic. Okay, this is, okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Like they would have uh, beautiful. They would have been doing like bones and stuff, right? You summoned me. This is maybe not the smartest idea, by the way. Or maybe it's the smartest idea ever. Because <laughs> I feel that if if you just like let, like it's not good to give the killer devour hope. But to just, you know, let a teammate die, I think is even worse, personally. I think you definitely would want to, you know, it would be better to get the rescue. And then, then you know, try to find the, the totem than to just let a teammate die like that. But that's just me, who knows, right? Hmm. Okay, there he is. I mean, this is sort of tunneling, but I guess I did go for somebody in between you. Hey, fuck. Hey, they're all like exposed, so this is good. Every time I get a down, I make a little bit of progress, which is really nice. And that girl has double, <laughs> double exposed status effect. I think this is, what, like, our third down? And we need, what, like, eight? So this is pretty good indeed, fellas. I might not even, like, even if I do get five stacks, I might not, uh... Man, this is unlucky, though. Like, I don't want to tunnel, but... I keep, like, not being able to find out where the other girl is. She must be on her way to rescue, I suspect. Could have played infinite tier three Myers, yeah, I suppose. But well, it was a it was a request. That was a thing, right? Like I would definitely say that, and we could worry her right now, but we're not going oh, to, because no I want they her to get rescued. Waste of good suffering. But it was like a request, you know. That's why we're doing Pinhead. But you you are correct. If we really wanted that, I think infinite tier three Myers would be the way to go. That should make things like pretty pretty straightforward, right? Just tier 3 and then just, you know, normal and one killer without having to worry about anything specific. 
Sprint burst. Can I punish you? <laughs> yes, I can. Ah, come on, she let herself die, man. Don't let yourselves die, friends. I need these downs. You have no idea how important they are. Oh, hello, friend. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna risk going under the pallet, to be honest with you. That fellow is around the corner here. I wonder how many downs we have. I suspect we're like six or something, right? Because we did get an extra one from like downy somebody and then they got picked up, so... We couldn't just go by the, the hook, so hello. I wouldn't mind you like rescuing. Yes. Beautiful. Great. Like a normal person, I would say Ghostface, but I saw your Ghostface is not that Gucci. Oh yeah, Ghostface would not be one that I would get a lot of exposed downs with, for sure. Not a chance. I think uh, for me, Myers will be a much, much, much safer bet. Easily. Now it is uh, the hatch match. Hey, that's my box. Give it to me. Give it over here. We can give her a hatch. I wonder if we got the eight that we needed. We might have. Because we can, like, try and give her a hatch, and then if she wiggles out, we get another down, huh? Doesn't sound like it's in Killer Shack. Uh, she's gonna get a lot of distance on me, though. No! Damn it! <laughs> but then again, I guess it really depends on whether or not we had enough downs to begin with. I love your spirit when you bump up the volume. Ah, uh, yeah, it was it was a lot better. It's just uh, 7 out of 8. Fuck my life. That's fine. That's fine. No, no big deal. We're, we're in a rush. Just just unfortunate. But it's not okay. <laughs> That's perfectly alright. Really good match for us, though. Like, things worked out really good. Still don't know why they just let somebody die. But hey, good for me. And then Devour worked, like, you know, came in super clutch. And 7 out of 8, like, I'm, I'm happy with this. Next time, you know, just like, single match of Mikael Myers. Then pretty straightforward. Easy peasy. After that. But fellas. Thank you very much. For all of you who came by. Stop and hang out with us today. Hugely appreciated, as always. And now we shall be raiding a friend. And coming back soon. Mayhaps tomorrow, mayhaps the day after that. I don't know. But soon. Soon we shall return. And I appreciate each and every single one of you who came out and hung out with us today. And I wish all of you a fantastic night of sleep. Great rest of your day and all that good jazz. And I see all of you around, my friends. Bye bye. Bye regular, bye Sophie, bye Gucci. Bye everyone else. Have a good one. Don't do it. No. Ah. No. Ah. You can stop.